everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys just didn't see. Oh, yeah. You guys just saw me scratch my eyebrow there. <laughs> okay. I have to. I'm still not used to this YouTube thing. Anyway, um, good morning. I hope you all are having a great morning so far. <laughs> good Sunday morning. Oh, my gosh. I just woke up like literally an hour and 15 minutes ago. <laughs> good morning, guys. Hey, Christina, Olya, Emily, Summer, Ashley. Welcome, Ashley. And hello, Marta. Hello, Tulonin. Hello, Space Dorito, Summer, Pixel Dreams. I think I got everybody. Hello, everybody who's joining me today. Today, we're going to be playing Edgewood, of course, and we're going to be playing Erin Driscoll today. She is the owner of the post office, and we're going to get to see how the post office is going to work. This is my first time trying to run a post office in game, so I don't know how profitable this is going to be for Erin. I think she's going to be really poor. <laughs> I think she's going to be really poor. I got my coffee here, guys. Now, I built, I rebuilt the post office, so I'm going to give you guys a little tour of that, and then we're going to head over to Aaron's house. Aaron lives right next door to Anna. She lives in the middle townhouse, which I believe we started decorating in the last stream, and I have not gone back to that because I had, I spent all my time on the post office, so we might have to do a little deco today as well as gameplay, but I think we can get through Aaron's round. <clears throat> no more Brian babies. Oh my God. If Brian, he needs to stay away from Aaron. That's all I can say. He has got to stop. He has got to stop. Every single child in town is going to be fathered by him and we're gonna, not going to have anybody to pair up our Sims with. <laughs> I know we're going to have to rename it to Shelly Woods. Okay, so let's get over to the game and let me show you guys what I did to the post office. So I, act I started using these street lights because I noticed, let me show you what I noticed. Whenever I put this into nighttime, look, these actually look like they're lit up on the other lot over here. I mean, not really that bright, but we have more light coming from these than we do like from the street lights. So I thought, I like that if they look like they're lit up on the other lots, I think I'm gonna start using these on all my lots. I don't know. I mean, they don't actually, like give off any light but they still kind of look lit up i don't know see what i mean anyway it looks better than these street lights so i'm gonna replace them <laughs> okay so anyway back to the post office it kind of looks the same as our old post office but i made it bigger and let me turn it back to daytime I made it bigger and I made it like this drive through area where you can go and drop off. Like if you don't want to park here, I made a little 10 minute parking so you could run into the post office. And then I made like a little drive through where you could just drive through and drop off your post right there. And then in the back, um, they do look like little moons. <laughs> in the back I have like, this is where the mail truck comes to drop off his stuff. And there's some more public parking back here too. And so this is where the mail truck brings in the, the post. And so let's go inside and let me show you guys the inside. So on the top floor, I always like to do a break room in my owned businesses. So I have a little break room here and I put Look, I put little foods. <laughs> I put food in the break room for our Sims to eat. It's not real food, but it le at least it makes it look like somebody's eating in here. <laughs> so there's the little break room that I have for Erin. And if, if she ever gets an employee in the future, they can use that. And then I have a little office for her, of course. And then we have the bathrooms here. And then, so downstairs, let's see here bread yep <laughs> downstairs this is the actual post office so these are the public post office boxes that our sims can we can pretend that our sims can rent these because they can't actually um but anyway these are the public post office boxes our our post office the only way that i have right now for them to actually earn money is to sell postcards <laughs> now i don't know these are probably i don't know how much money she's gonna make from this so I think we're gonna have to pay her a salary to be the postal carrier. So she's gonna get her salary like from the state government or whatever to run to be the postal carrier and then she's also gonna earn any money um, from selling postcards in the shop. So this is what the shop, this is the Llama Express. 
This is what our little shop looks like. Um, over here, there's like some counters for customers to sh package their stuff up or whatever. Um, I love the door. The door has little decals on it. I think that's all I got. That's all there. Is. That's all there is to it. There's not much to it. I have these newspapers over here, but unfortunately, these do not work how they're supposed to. You're supposed to be able to sell newspapers through this, but it doesn't work properly. So it's just kind of like deco right now. Yes, yeah, she gets her salary from the tax treasury. Yes, she does, Olya. Which we have no... She's not going to get any salary this time. Because <laughs> we don't have any... We don't have any money to pay her. <laughs> so right now it's only going to be what she earns from postcards. Which I don't think it's going to be much. And then back here we have the mail sorting room. Um, this is where she comes to sort out all the mail. And here are a couple of new mail bags that just came in. And then I have the employee time clock back here too. So that's all there is to the post office. It's just a small little shop. Has everything we need to service Edgewood. Living off postcards seems rough. I know. That's why we're going to have to give her like a government salary. Um, she is going to actually be the sim that's walking around delivering mail. And I have not. I think we're going to have to do like a plastic surgery type of situation. And I'm going to give her the the mail carrier career. Okay, so I have the custom careers. We're going to give her the mail carrier career so she's going to earn money through that. And that makes me... I think I'm going to have to put the institution sign here. Hold on just a sec, guys. I think I'm going to have to put the institution sign up so that she doesn't actually go to work when she's at work. And she still gets paid. I hope that makes sense, but I'll kind of try to show you what I'm talking about. Let me, I gotta find that sign though. I think this is what I wanna do. You're gonna have to bear with me because I'm still like figuring this out. Okay, where is that sign? Does anybody know where the institution sign shows up? Is it under, I don't know where it is. I, ha I found it the other day, dang it. I have so much deco, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Um, she's gonna get, I think it's 50 simoleons a day. I'll have to look and see what the career gives her. Okay, I am just not seeing this sign. Am I just blind? Tell me if you see it. Uh, where is it? Okay, there's a sign. I feel like it's really easy to see and I'm just overlooking it. Oh my god, we gotta find this. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it's in decorative, so I'm going to look again in miscellaneous. You have no... You don't know what it is? Okay, does anybody know what I'm talking about or know where it is? <laughs> it's a blue sign. It's a blue sign that is from Simological. And you put it on your lots where you don't want Sims to go to school or work. Um, but, oh my god, I can't find it. And now it's like, I feel the pressure and I can't find anything. <laughs> I'm feel under pressure. <laughs> okay, nobody knows where it is. All right, I'm just going to scroll through every single thing I have then. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I just had it yesterday. It's got to be under miscellaneous. It's got to be. Oh, it's in sculptures, Christina. Oh, it's in, oh, there it is. Thank you. There it is. I found it. Sim logical institutional sign. Place this on a residential lot that is acting as a prison school or hospital and the going to work or school processes will not take place. I'm using this in the post office. I'm just going to put it right here. And I looked like really closely at this because I was like, what is on this sign? And it's that. If anybody out there knows how to do recolors, tell me if it's possible to like put some Simlish on this sign. Because I don't know what this is, <laughs> but we just won't look too close at it. We just won't look too closely at it. If we zoom out here, you can't tell. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to save this. And we have to have Aaron purchase this lot too. So let's save. I found it, thank goodness. You can do it, Marta. Oh my God, yes. You're my recolor queen. <laughs> You wish you were you would be born in an English-speaking country so you don't have to translate your mods. I bet that's a huge pain in the butt, Andrick. I'm sorry, you have to do that. Okay, let's go out to the neighborhood and let's go find Erin in her house. 
It looks like Simlish from far away. I know that's what I'm saying, Miles. We just won't zoom in on it. <laughs> we won't zoom in on it. It's sign language. I know, Olya. <laughs> that's what I thought, too. Okay, Marta, I will. I will um, find that link afterward. Okay, so let's see here. Where Where's our house? I can't, I don't know where anything is in Edgewood because I'm just focusing on like two areas of the neighborhood right now. So I'm focusing on our residential area right here, which we need to name this street. We need to name all the streets. I haven't done that yet. And then over here, um, we have our, I guess our commercial area. So I put the post office right next to the supermarket. So far, nothing has a name. It's just pet shop, clothing store, bakery. <laughs> supermarket post office even though some of these actually do have names like Nora's boots and pants and Leslie's love muffins I just haven't renamed them yet okay so anyway let's go over to uh Aaron's house so Aaron lives in this middle townhouse right next to Anna and Melanie our teacher is gonna live on the end we'll be playing her next I believe okay so let's enter Bugwood Street. <laughs> yes, that's what it needs to be named. <laughs> it's going to take a while for this to load. So Erin is so incredibly adorable. She, I believe she is a fortune sim. I think she's a fortune sim. We're going to look at her personality. I thought it was winged, winged, wingdings. Yeah, I think it is wingdings, y'all. Your, I see your comments way up there. Yeah, I think it is. Um, anyway, so Erin, we're going to look at her personality again and look at her relationships because I don't know who she knows at this point and who she's friends with or if she has any romantic prospects. And I don't even remember what even is her, is her gender preference. I think she's straight. I also just realized I forgot to pull up my uh, Edgewood spreadsheet, so I'm going to do that now. My Edgewood tracker. And I don't even have her in here. Oh my God. I was not well prepared. I spent all my time on the post office. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open up my hood planner and my tracker. Gotta have all these spreadsheets open. Oh my God. And Erin here, let's see. Erin Maureen Driscoll is her name. She's a fortune sim. She is a Scorpio. She likes red hair and cologne. She is 26 years old, which I <laughs> need to fix everybody's ages. I think I'm just going to have to go in and do it all at once. She has 1,500 simoleons in her bank account, which means she's going to have 12 simoleons in cash after we get finished with her. Ooh, that's rough. She has a degree in economics. And I'm just going to put her over here in the spreadsheet, so don't mind me. Here she is. We're loading up. Oops. Give me one sec here. I'm going to... Insert one above. Wow, I really was not prepared for this. So Driscoll, Aaron, and let's just hope that Brian stays away from her. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, she likes red hair and cologne. All right, so like I said, she's a fortune sim. She's unemployed. We have to give her the job that we want her to have. Um, she is very active, neat, shy, very serious very serious she doesn't have time to play around and she's she's pretty nice and uh, we did not write a bio for her okay let's see oh she has been shopping y'all she has been shopping in town see i really love this in edgewood she went and she bought two cat feline birdie sticks she bought a chewinator she bought a box of pudding snacks <laughs> She bought a box of pudding snacks and laundry detergent. So we can use all this to decorate her house with. I don't know if she wants a cat or a dog because she bought both. Make up your mind, Erin. <laughs> okay, so let's go in. I have not done anything else to her house. It's just like the same as it was before. We need to decorate a little bit. I think we got through the living room and that was all we did. I did the live. We did the living room. Um, and I said I was going to finish the rest, and I did not. Oh, we did the kitchen. We started on the kitchen as well. We got the kitchen here done. Um, I just need to give her a new table and chairs. 
So I let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I want to put her pudding snacks. I want to put her pudding snacks in the kitchen somewhere. She needs like an open shelf because I don't want to just put it here. Um, hold on. Let's go look at the kitchen stuff and see if there's a shelf with this. I don't remember. This is the vanadium kitchen. This is my favorite kitchen. I feel like I overuse this kitchen. Do you guys ever have like a set that you just love so much you use it in like every house? <laughs> That's how I am with this set. And I'm like, maybe I use it too much. Okay, there definitely are shelves. So instead of a cabinet over here, I'm gonna put a wall shelf so that we can put her purchases on it. Like this. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to do it out here. <laughs> Your sim loves to look in the, oh, there it goes. Oh no, it won't go, it, will it not go on there? Let me turn move objects on. You better go on there. Oh, there it goes. All right. So she's got pudding. <laughs> she's got enough pudding for a long time. She's one person. She bought a case of pudding, like 12 packs. How much is a case? Is a case 24? <laughs> I don't know, but she bought a bunch. And I'll leave the rest of it open so if she wants to buy anything else. Oh, she has laundry detergent too. We need to put that somewhere. You don't have much kitchen, CC. You use the ugly Max's. I use the Max's stuff a lot too. And some of it's not that ugly. The new vintage kitchen set by Veronica. I don't know if I have that one. <laughs> you want pudding now? <laughs> Okay, so you like to buy a case of applesauce. Mr. Pleasant loves applesauce, but I love apples. Like I eat an apple almost every day. Applesauce, like I like it, but I prefer to eat like a whole apple. Okay, so let's give her a different uh, table and chairs because this one doesn't match very well with what we're doing. I'll give her a vanadium table and chairs. Let's see here. Vanadium table. I'm going to give her a black table. I also feel like I do the black and white and red theme a lot because that's my personal taste. <laughs> so I give that, I force that on my Sims a lot. Um, I don't think I want to use the stool, these stools that came with this because I feel like I have issues with those. So I think I'm going to choose a different chair. It keeps the doctor away. I wish it did. I wish that was true. <laughs> Believe me, I tried. Okay, what's this? Classroom chair? No. What kind of chair do I want to use? I don't know if I want to give her the cheapest chair, but it does look kind of cute in this kitchen. I'm going to give her the cheap chair. And then I want to put something on the wall. Let's do a painting or something, and then we'll call that good. Hey, Montana. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? I know I have some kitchen stuff somewhere like some food prints that i've been wanting to use and now i don't remember what they're recolors of <laughs> i have so many painting recolors that i don't even use a lot of them because i can never find them am i the only one who has that problem you just i just download so many recolors and then they're just lost in here oh those are marta's recolors those are very nice too i think i have some in here no <laughs> i don't know they're in here somewhere. This is why I don't like to do decoration on stream because I just feel like I'm just scrolling through. I'm just scrolling through paintings and rugs. That's the whole stream. <laughs> yes, you do the same thing. I know, and I'll download recolors and completely forget about them until I find the. Oh, here's a here's a tomato. I don't know, I don't think that, I like that for like a restaurant or something. I don't think that looks good in here. Okay, I think maybe I'm thinking of these. I love recolors for this particular painting. I have so many, as you can see, I have so many of them, um, but they look really good. So here are some kitchen ones, but I don't think these are gonna match. The red, unfortunately, but these are really cute. I like all these. Oh, how about this one? Yes, I like that. That's cute. I'm finally getting to use these. <laughs> I'm finally getting to use these in something. Let's see if we have one more. I know, I wish we could have the search feature too because I feel like so much of my time in Creative Sim is spent just scrolling through these. See, 
see, now none of the other ones match except for the red. I mean, I guess we could put this one. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's turn on quarter tile placement on. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that look all right? Those are cute, but I don't know about the yellow one. It looks good. Okay. I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Now, I think I'm going to put a light over here on this wall because we need something on this wall. Um, so I'll put a light. Let's see. And then we'll be pretty much done with the kitchen. Maybe one of these. Nah, I don't like that. I want it to look more modern. More modern-like. How about that? All right, that's good. So I think that's good for the kitchen for now. Um, I'm gonna let, if she wants to buy any more decor and stuff, I'll let her do that. Maybe a rug, okay? <laughs> Maybe a rug and then we can move on. Um, What kind of rug do I wanna put in here? Where's the little mat? Okay, not the spider webs. I don't think Erin would have the spider webs. I like these mats. I need more recolors for these, though. The tatami rug. I like this rug. It's really good for, like, putting in front of a door or putting in a kitchen. Uh, but I, need, I feel like I need more recolors of it. That's kind of cute. Okay, we're going to call that good. We're going to call that good for the kitchen. The wall light in... Uh, options are so limited. You know, another thing I that I have a tr trouble finding in The Sims 2 is porch lights, like outdoor lights. I end up using this one right here all almost all the time. I have recolors for it, and I end up using this all the time as my outdoor light um, because I just feel like it looks the best as an outdoor light. But yeah, we definitely need more. I also use this one a lot window coverings yeah and that reminds me i think i want to put i want think i want to put a light outside too now that i'm thinking about it uh let's see but i have such a hard time finding outdoor lights i think i'm gonna put this one right here i probably need to put one on uh anna's door too i think i'll just put these on all the houses d uh, dot on tsr Oh, okay, I will. I know people hate The Sims Resource, but I don't hate it. I use it all the time. <laughs> I understand why people hate it. People have a bad taste in their mouth about it from years ago, but I pay for a subscription to The Sims Resource so I don't have to deal with the aggressive ads. And to me, it's worth it because I use it a lot. <laughs> I do too. I don't like, I don't ever use it for like creative sim stuff, but the build and buy mode stuff, there's some really good stuff and like decor and stuff. <laughs> I pay the sub too. It's only $3. Actually, I pay by the year, so it's even cheaper. It's not that bad. People don't like it because they're very aggressive with their ads, Miles. Um, and they are too, and it's a, it's obnoxious. I get it, it's obnoxious. And they used to be a pay site. So a long time ago, like I don't remember them being a pay site. So they must've been a pay site before I was like really into c custom content for The Sims 2. But apparently people were like really mad about that and people have not gotten over it <laughs> from what I understand. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I download so much from it. I feel like I would rather, I'm going to support them one way or the other, either, either looking at ads or paying them $2 a month. So I just pay the $2 a month. Okay. So anyway, we got the living room and kitchen done. So far, everything's looking super cute. Now we have to do this little bathroom. I'm probably not going to do too much to this right now. I'm going to leave her some room for improvement. So I'm going to put a light in here, obviously. I'm going to put a mirror. Um, I'm okay with the blue. I like the blue. It doesn't really match the rest of the house. But, you know, every room does not have to match the, every other room, in my opinion. Some rooms are going to be different colors. I'm cool with that. Let's put a mirror. Actually, I want to put a medicine cabinet. I like putting a medicine cabinet in all my bathrooms. I remember Peggy Sims. Um, I 
I don't think I downloaded anything from it when it was live, but I remember, <laughs> I remember it from recently. Okay, let's see. Where the heck is the medicine cabinet? Oh, I think it's under miscellaneous decor. I really need to recategorize that. I know there's a mod that recategorizes it, but I just never got it. There it is. Medicine cabinet. And I mean, there's enough room for a bathtub or something in here. Let's put a bathtub in. I like to have multiple showers and tubs in my lots. Especially whenever you start getting more Sims in here. Um, I don't know if I want to do this. Let's see. Let's see, I like a combo shower and bathtub because I feel like that's, you know, more realistic what most people have in their ha homes. At least I've never lived in a house that didn't. Although I did have a house one time that had a big master ba bathroom and it had a separate shower and a separate tub and the tub was like a jacuzzi tub. But that was a manufactured home. I don't think that's really like common. <laughs> the CC hider, uh, icon hider doesn't work for you? Oh, that's weird. I've never had any issues with it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know which one of these I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna do, the, I'm gonna do the cheap one. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, nope, I don't like any of those shower curtains. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this. Let's just put this one in. The regular, regular old, what I don't like is I don't how, I like how it doesn't line up to the wall here. So actually, you know what, I lied. I'm gonna put a shower in here. I'm gonna put a shower in here. I'm gonna put one of these in the corner. Okay, that's not, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one of these in the corner. Oh my God, would you get, no, no. Get, okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna move the toilet. No, I can't move the toilet. Uh, yes, I can. There we go. We'll do this. Gonna put a toilet paper roll holder and a towel and we'll be done. That's good enough. Toilet paper roll. Oh my God, where did you go? Come back, come back, come back toilet paper. Toilet paper and then a, t I wanna put a towel. And also I might recolor this. You've never lived anywhere without them being combined. Blue, nah, no, no, let's do white. I'm just gonna do that, that one. And finally, I want a towel rack. No, I want a towel rack. Where are my towels? Oh, I'm so wanting that search feature right now. <laughs> okay, let me move this up on the wall a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's a cute little bathroom. And then I don't know if I wanna do anything for the entryway. I might put a desk or something here. I don't know, let's see what we can do upstairs real quick. I wanna play, so I wanna hurry up and just like throw something together for her. So for these bedrooms, I'm just gonna empty them out and just leave them empty. And she can, we can figure out what to do with those. Um, the bathrooms are fine. Actually, I think I'm gonna replace this with a shower, a combo shower. I like that there's three bathrooms in this. It's very nice. Sometimes it's hard to find uh, ha smaller houses that have a decent amount of bathrooms, in my opinion. Okay, I don't know if they're gonna be able to get into there. Hmm, are they going to be able to get into that shower? I don't think they are. Um, let me see. Uh, what, how can I rearrange this with the door? That's going to have to go there. And that's going to have to go there. <laughs> oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We can make this bathroom attached this? No, that's not gonna work either. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to put a walkthrough block. I guess I'm gonna have to. And I'm gonna put a two tile door right there. 
I will ha I think I will have to use a walkthrough block. Let's go find a bespoke two tile door. Let's see. Base of those exterior. Where's my interior? Interior two tile door I'm gonna put right there. And then we'll just have to put the sink on a walkthrough. So let me find my walkthrough blocks. I don't like to use the walkthrough blocks unless I absolutely have to. Um, because they can cause like really weird animations. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I don't wanna do walkthrough, I wanna do walk around. And let's see how that works. Oh no, 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 no. Undo. I could leave the sink out, but I don't want I don't like that. I feel like a bathroom should have a sink, you know? We'll see how that works. If we have an issue, I can always just put like a shower in uh, into this one, especially since it's just like, you know what? I think I will do that. Since this is just like a third bathroom, we could just put a shower only and just have a tub over here. Let's do that. I prefer for my Sims to take showers, but they do need a tub, at least one tub in their house. Ooh, this is a nice, we could do this better bath shower. That looks really cute and they can just walk in there. So that's easier. Okay, so I'm going to put a medicine cabinet. I like this because they can just walk in the shower right here. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. And anyway, and I might put this shower downstairs too now that I'm thinking about it. That might, might, that might look better than this one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then <laughs> let's put a medicine cabinet. And I'll just go ahead and put those in both bathrooms as well while we're here, while we're at it. Medicine cabinet, where are you? Why are you so expensive? And at the very end, why is it 280? You know what? We need to reduce the price for that. Look at this crappy medicine cabinet. It's 280 simoleons for that. I hope it's full of drugs for that price. <laughs> Okay, and let's do a light in here. I'll just put a nice little light fixture there. Let's put some towels on the wall. Let's see here. Towels, towels, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. God, I can't find anything. Here you are. No, that's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Let's move you up on the wall since this is a shower. Okay, perfect. Oh, and toilet paper roll. And then we're done with this one. Now, I will probably eventually remodel the walls and stuff, but right now I'm just leaving it because I don't care that much. She's gonna have blue bathrooms. <laughs> Prescription drugs! Not the illegal kinds. <laughs> I'm having bathroom problems. <laughs> I got it. I got it under control. So this one is fine. I'm going to leave this one as a tub. I like the way this one is set up. And we're going to, I'm just going to copy this stuff over from the other bathroom. So that'll only take us a second. We want that. We want, I'm going to put, uh, actually I'll put a ceiling light in this one. And let's put a toilet paper roll. Let's put some towels to use. I'll just put those right here. I'm going to keep those kind of low. Maybe up one or two. And then I think I'm gonna change that like that. So it's right by the towels. And then I also think we need a window covering for this. Now if I go outside, yeah, we'll have to leave it like that or it won't be centered outside. She delivers the mail, exactly. <laughs> she delivers the mail and so much more. Okay, so I'm gonna put a blind over this. If I can find the right one that works, there we go. So nobody can peek in. Okay, so the bathrooms are fine. The bathrooms are good. <laughs> See, maybe she could take bribes for those extra prescription drugs. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna need some money. Actually, I don't know how I'm gonna do the, the salary now that I think of it. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean in a second. Let's do her bedroom and then, where are we gonna put the laundry? Oh, why is there a sink over here? Did I buy an extra sink? What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna put the laundry. Hmm. Okay, let's do her bedroom. 
So she likes the color red, so I'm probably gonna do this in a red, reddish color. Let's see if we can find some nice bedding for her. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Those are like hearts. Aw. Yes, I like that. Um, I think I'm gonna. Oh, never mind. I said I was gonna move her bed over here, but it, I don't think it'll go. I wonder if I can move it against this wall. Mm, nope, I like it better over here. <laughs> I like it better where it was. Get back. Get back. I could. We could do laundry in the spare room. I was thinking of that. Or next to the entryway. Yeah. You could do either of those. I don't like this. Um, I think I'm going to change this to black. Is that black or dark brown? That's black. Okay, that's a cute bedding. I've never used that bedding before. Let's give her an end table. Let's see. I really like these end tables and I use these a lot, but I don't know if it matches that. Let's give her an Ikea. Give her an Ikea. Oh, that's Boston. <sighs> Where are the Ikeas? Is it just this one? Is that the only? Oh, we have this one too. She's gonna have some Ikea stuff in her house. And let's give her a lamp. So I already know the lamp I want. I want this. Where are you? Where? I want this one, because I think there's a red one. Yeah, that's cute. And then let's put some blinds in, a rug, a dresser, a beer, and we'll call it good. Because I want to play today. I don't just want to decorate all day. Um, we'll put some black blinds, if that's not the right one. That's not the right one. That one. That's what we need. Let's change the color to black. All right. So far, so good. Let's throw a dresser over here. Um, I don't think I want to use that one. I want a two tile dresser. I just don't know which one I want. Or maybe I want a wardrobe. I thought I had some recolors of these. Here, I have recolors of this one. We'll put a wardrobe there. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll put it this way. Nope, nope, I'll put it this way. <laughs> we'll put a painting on the wall, put another light, a rug, we'll be good to go. I say that like it's just gonna take a second. It's gonna take me forever to pick out a painting. Why would you want to play? Did I did I miss something? I think I missed something there. Okay, let's see. Where's something nice and abstract? Yeah, I think we can put a plant in too. These are, oh, this is cute. Let's see if we can find a nice red one. That, whoa, that's expensive, 2,700. I don't think she's the kind of person who can spend 2,700 on a painting. So let me take that back. Let's go find something else. Ooh. I want something kind of like abstract and red. How about a red rose? That's cute. We'll put a red rose on the wall. And then, yeah, we could throw a plant over here. That's a good idea in the corner. What do I have here? Okay, that's too, that's too large. I feel like they're either too large or too small. It's hard for me to find the perfect plant. I never feel like I have enough plants. And I feel like I use the same ones over and over, which I do. <laughs> We're gonna use this one. Let me see if I can recolor the bottom. Nope, that's what we've got. That's what we're going with. Oh, cause I said I wanted to play. Okay, I'm so far behind on what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's do a rug maybe. Maybe a rug, but I need something like plainly colored. 
Um, I have these rugs, which is not what I want to use. I have these. I think I'll use this one. That's pretty big. That's too big, I think. Maybe if we turned it this way. Now let's recolor it. I don't, I can't stand how it flickers. You guys see that flicker? As far as I know, there's no way to fix that. So maybe we just won't have a rug in here. It's kind of a small room. I guess we could put a little, a little tiny rug. Like one of these. One of these, maybe. Put a little, I don't know. A little rug in front of the dresser. <laughs> That's all right with me. And it really need, we really need more light in here. I'm going to do a ceiling light. Let's do a ceiling light. Um, I'm going to turn quarter tile placement on. I'm going to put this down here. And we also need one in the bathroom. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. And then, so we'll leave these rooms empty in case i forgot what her hobby is too i need to check that and i'm gonna put a light out here and maybe another one on the wall over here okay so that kind of lights up the hallway yeah i could use the carpet flooring yeah that's true but oh well i'm cool i'm cool with that oh she needs a mirror too I think we could put a mirror right here. Let's see. Let's do like a like one of these. Does that does that look weird? Maybe we should move that over a little bit. Okay, I'm good. I'm good with that, I guess. It's not perfect. I don't know if I actually I don't know if I like the mirror there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go in here and look. You need to go on a bespoke <laughs> download binge. I use these all pretty much exclusively now. All right, we're going to call that good. We're going to call that good enough. You know she's going to try for baby on a couch, on the couch. You know she is. Okay, the only thing we're missing now is laundry and like an office but i don't really think she needs an office that much but yeah maybe we could make like a little a little extra room here like this and we could put the laundry in there and i'm not gonna really give her an office i don't think she needs one that much right now and let's put a door to that and then let's put the laundry in here Do, 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 do. I can never find the washer and dryer. Okay, it's under large appliances. That should be really easy. Yeah, her office is at the post office. Yeah. No, this is not decorative laundry, but it also, um, Joe has fixed it so that it's not so consuming. Like, they, they will use it autonomously, but not nearly as often. So there's the dryer. I want to put a shelf so that we can put... She did buy some laundry detergent, so I want to put a shelf up. Maybe if I can find shelves. I like to use this shelf above the laundry. It needs to move up, though. And actually, we need to move it out. We need to move it out so we can put her laundry detergent on it. I don't know what we're going to do with her pet supplies. Like, she doesn't have a pet. She hasn't wanted to get a pet, so I guess we'll just hold on to those. And if she gets a pet, she'll already have it available. Okay. Oh, and I need to put a hamper. I need to put a hamper in her room for her clothing. Um, I'm going to go to my collections because I have a collection for my laundry stuff. And then we'll find one there. Okay, I'm just going to use this black one. We'll put this in her room. Oh my gosh, there's nowhere to put it. I think we got to get rid of the plant. We got to get rid of the plant. And we'll put the hamper there instead. Then, So now I really don't know how I feel about this. That's better. 
And then I'll move the plant downstairs, I guess. Get a hammer for her. <laughs> she needs a hammer. Um, well, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this plant. We're gonna bring down the hammer on her. And what else do we have? We could buy her an iron. Let's put that up there. Um, put some clothes. Come here. Put some clothes on there, and that's good. Maybe put a little plant on the top. Let's see, where's a little, where's a little guy? No, I don't like that. Let's see, one of these? No. <laughs> it's hard to find the perfect plant. Oh, how about an African violet? That's cute. Can I move it over? No. No, I can't. You just have to put it right there, right next to the... I don't want to do that. Okay, good enough. Good enough. And we need, oh, we need a light in there. And that should be the final thing. That's good enough for her to live here. Anything else that she wants to get, um, she can upgrade herself. We'll put the light in there. And this is definitely good enough for her to start, start her life with. <laughs> She's got everything she could need. <laughs> and yeah, I just wanted to double check. All right, looks good, looks good. Oh, you know what? I forgot, we gotta put, I gotta put eye, eyelashes? I was seriously about to say I need to put eyelashes. I need to give her a phone, which I don't know if she has a phone. I meant, what's the word I'm looking for? Light switches. <laughs> Not eyelashes, light switches. Did I give her a phone anywhere? <laughs> I don't see a phone and now I don't know where I'm gonna put one. Can we put one on here? No. No. You have nowhere for a phone, Erin. You've got too much stuff. <laughs> we'll put it, we can put it over here. There we go. <laughs> Gotta give this house some eyelashes. It sounds like light switches, doesn't it? Kind of? Kind of? Am I going crazy? Okay, so let me put, let me just throw, slap up some eye. I, I did it again. I just started to say <laughs> eyelashes again. Light switches, what is wrong with me? Jeez, I need to get some more sleep. Okay, so let's, th <laughs> let's throw up some light switches. Put one right there. Um, <laughs> put one right inside the door. I was using these, I have these light switches for The Sims 3 that I've been using, but they don't like snap over close to the wall. Like they don't snap on a quarter tile. It's driving me crazy. Okay, this only needs one, that only needs one light switch. That doesn't need two. Hold on. Let's see, where's the one? Where's the one? There it is. There's only one light in here, not two lights. I hate useless light switches that don't do anything. <laughs> two for that. Um, let's put one in the kitchen. We'll put that right here. And then let's go upstairs, put one in each of the rooms. So we'll put one in here. We'll put one at the top of the stairs as well so that when you come up the stairs you can turn the lights on or off we'll put one in each of these rooms even though these rooms don't have lights yet i better put some lights in these rooms actually can i move that over let's do a two tile for this let's do a two tile door okay why won't that go Oh, it won't go. Okay, never mind. We have to we have to stick with the one tile. Okay, I'm gonna put the light over here. I feel like you should be able. Or let's just turn the door around. Yeah, we'll put the light switch right here. Maybe, maybe I can figure out how to do that. Okay, perfect. And then let's put some lights in here. Every time I'm like, I'm almost done, and then I remember something else I have to do. But we're gonna get there, guys. We're gonna get there, I swear. <laughs> it needs a pretty little 
little townhouse needs those eyelashes. <laughs> it needs those eyelashes. <laughs> Your house has eyelashes all over it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then let's put, oh, I did one there. Let's put one in the bathrooms. Put one in the, no, I hate it when it does that. I hate it when it goes through the wall like that. Go right there. And then we'll put this one right here. Oh my God, right here. Why, look, do you see what I did here? Did I put the, <laughs> I put the medicine cabinet above the toilet. <laughs> you gotta, you have to wash your, uh, wash your teeth. You have to wash your teeth in the toilet. <laughs> oh man, I can't find words today. I don't know, I apologize. <laughs> oh, you pointed that out earlier. I didn't even see it, Miles, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your teeth in the toilet. <laughs> okay, now I did the eyelashes. Now it's time to do the, I don't know, electrical outlets. Let me just slap these on. Then we just have to do the vents. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. I would have done this before, but I, I couldn't find the time to do it. Um... So yeah, you have to sit here and watch me do this. This is what I do this to every single one of my lots. So this is something that I do whenever I listen to podcasts because it gets a little boring. It gets a little tedious. You're like, oh my God, I have to put these in every room. I mean, you don't have to, but I do. I have to, I am compelled to put these every in every room. I want, I like it to be realistic. Dang it. No matter how tedious it gets. So I'm just going to slap an electrical outlet down in these rooms. Um, I think that's pretty much good enough for the upstairs. Let's do the downstairs. I need some coffee really bad. I have not slept well the past couple of nights. Um, Laszlo is on the rampage in my house and he wakes, he's waking us up like so super early. So yeah, I've had a lot of sleep issues. I think I'm going to take a nap today. <laughs> So I'm, I may not be 100%. I'm calling light switches eyelashes, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm gonna put one over here too so we can pretend that like a clock plugs into that or something, whatever. Let's put one in the kitchen. I know, poor thing. Poor Laszlo, you guys won't believe, he is so big. I'll try to get him in here before the end of the stream. He is like, big he's really big i can't believe how big he is and he just needs to get neutered you know so it's coming up really soon um uh, what else was i gonna do oh counter height counter height here in case we want to get a in case we want to get a microwave or something up here we'll put one of those there and then i need to put them in the laundry room as well i need to put one here It's gonna be worth it in the end, dang it. It's gonna be worth it. Put one of these right here. Okay, perfect. Clocks can run on batteries. They can also run on electricity. <laughs> I don't know, I don't care. Oh, all your animals are asleep and looking cute right now. My dogs are really good. They sleep, they don't cause me any issues. It's, it's only the cat. And I think it's just because he's like a teenager right now. He's like a hormonal teenager. Okay, so finally I'm gonna do the vents. I have started actually using the vents that come with apartment life instead of the ones that I downloaded. And I don't know why. I don't know why I've been using these. I just like these. I have no answers. I have no answers for the things I do. I'm gonna put that right there. I just put one in every room, at least one in every room. Where can we put this? It's gonna jump up above that. That's really annoying. I'm gonna move this out. Put the vent. No, why will it, why is it not snapping where I want it to snap? Snap, dang you, snap. There we go. <laughs> now I have to put this back. I hope that table works okay there. All right, that is not against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's just floating. Oh no, can I move? Okay, I'm, I can move it down. 
There we go. No, these are not functional vents. So the reason why I don't, I haven't been using the functional vents is because they, you can either have a cool or a hot, and I don't want to put two vents in every room. And the, the problem with these though, is you can't put them above the doors. If you put them above the doors, the Sims won't be able to go in the doors. So I have to remember that because I tend to want to put them above the doors. So these are not functional. They're just decorative. But I still like them. I still like to put them in the, in the house. I like to put one in every room. Put one on this wall. Oop. I want to center it. I'm going to center one on this wall. Put one in the bedroom. Oh, I don't like how that looks. Sometimes it can look a little cluttered, so I have to like really choose where I'm going to put it. That's good. And then let's put one in the hallway. <laughs> and finally, the very last thing that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put one over here too. No, I'm not. The very last thing I want to do is put the air conditioner unit and then the utility boxes and then we'll be done. I swear. <laughs> I swear we'll be done. So I got to go find my air conditioner. Here it is. I'm going to put it in the back of the house. Each unit is going to get its own air conditioning unit. I'm actually going to move that over and then I'm going to put the utility boxes here. Um, I'll put those. Okay, so that is for her unit. Unfortunately, we can't put the trim all the way to the edge. That sucks. That is too bad. Yeah, it just won't show up. But oh well, it doesn't matter. We're never going to look back there anyway. Okay, I think we're done. I think I'm finally done, guys. <laughs> Yay, let me save. Oh my god, I just had like visions of my game crashing after I did all that. I would totally just leave. I'd be like, okay, stream over. <laughs> it's been an hour, jeez. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. We can play, we can play, I swear. We just had to get her house ready. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna let her in. Oh, we need to give her her job. So this is what I am doing. I am going to cheat so we're gonna go nope i need simblender need simblender and we're gonna go to careers adult career and we're gonna find the male delivery career now she our post office the post office career we're gonna give this career to her she's going to check out her new stuff okay post office career track 9 a.m to 5 p.m Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 200 simoleons a day. So this is going to be her salary that she is getting. 200 simoleons a day. We're going to take this job. Now, I, you know what? I don't know what to do about the salary. I don't know if we want to take the 200 a day out of the treasury or if we just want to say this is like paid to her from the federal government or what. Like, I don't know what to do about that. So and when she goes out to work when we're playing her, we're just going to imagine that she is delivering mail around town. She also has to go to the post office sometimes and open it. She'll probably do that on the weekends. Um, she'll probably go to the post office on the weekends. So she's going to be working really hard. Right now, she can go to the post office today since she, I don't think she's going to have to go to work today. She's a mail carrier. Oh my God, she needs charisma, body, and cleaning skill. Jeez. I didn't even know you could get promoted in those careers. Woohoo, time to get pregnant. Okay, we need to look at her relationships too. All right, she's friends with Catherine. Like one of the, she's like one of the only Sims in town that Catherine can even stand to be around. <laughs> so they have a friendship. She's also friends with Melanie, who is our teacher. And she has, oh, she, oh no, she has two bolts with Jason Hickey, but she doesn't like him. She doesn't get along with him. Let's just double check. I'm pretty sure she's completely straight, but I'm just going to double check her gender preference. Not once. Her traits. Yeah, she's straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got to find somebody for her. We've got to find a love for her. <laughs> yeah, I think from the, for, the, for now, we're just going to let her get paid from SimCity. 
And then in the future, if the town's generating a lot of income, maybe the town can take that over. Um, but for now, we're just going to let her get paid because I really don't want to keep up with it. You like her with Dr. Hickey? Well, so far, she's he's the only one she has chemistry with. Okay, and let's... I'm going to send her to the bathroom. <gasps> I've been playing Sims 4, so I just tried to auto-solve. I'm like, I'm just going to click on that. She's going to go to the bathroom. Oh. <sighs> I got, it's it's hard when you play all three games because then you have to remember like what feature is in which game because I've been playing all three of them. <laughs> Could be a love hate. Could be a love hate. Her secondary aspiration is I forgot. We gotta look. It's popularity. So she's fortune and popularity. She also has another one. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have another one to spend. What am I saying? Okay, she wants to gain a charisma skill point, gain a cleaning skill point, make a friend. And what is her hobby? Hold on, we gotta check her hobby too. Her hobby is fitness. Okay, fitness. Her turn off is fat. I don't think that I don't think she's gonna like Dr. Hickey because he's fat and she doesn't like fat. So we get we have to roll for her secondary hobby. I mean her sub hobby. So her main hobby is fitness. Um, one second and let me go pull up my sub hobby so we can find out exactly what her her fitness hobby is gonna be oh and we also have to set her money now we may have to buy her like an exercise machine or something depending on what her sub hobby is let me see hobbies fitness so for fitness place your legal sport what oh i think there's an ad there was an ad playing sorry about that okay so there's swimming skating weightlifting cardio and yoga so I hope she doesn't get swimming or skating because she's going to be SOL. <laughs> so I'm going to go to random.org and we're going to roll. But I guess that would give us the opportunity to build another community lot in town if she did roll one of those. Um, we're going to roll one through five, which I know you guys can't see, but I'll tell you what I roll. I rolled a five. So it's yoga. Yoga. Okay, that's good. That's good. She can do yoga. So we're going to have to work on her fitness. <laughs> she does have two bolts with him that's true that's true maybe she can help him get in shape maybe she'll she likes dr hickey so much she can help him you know get himself in shape all right so i since today is the only day she's not gonna have to go to work i think we should send her to the post office we can also see if she meets anybody there and we can kind of see how the post office is gonna work um so let's have her walk Oh, we didn't have her purchase it yet, did we? Okay, hold on. We got to fix this. Because she... Where's her inventory? She owns the the old Llama Express. We need to sell that. And she needs to buy the new Llama Express. So I think we need to go to, go to business. Check in with business. Is that? I think that's how you sell it. She does seem like a yoga person. Aaron Yoga Driscoll. <laughs> Is that how you sell the business? Get yourself a hickey. <laughs> Somebody does. I feel so bad for Dr. Hickey. He's like, have you ever actually been to Llama Express? Okay, no, that's not what we need to do. How do you, how the heck do you sell it? Real estate, sell owned lot. Okay. I think in The Sims 3, you do check in with business to sell it. I don't know anymore, y'all. I don't know. But yeah, I feel so bad for Dr. Hickey. Let's sell this. Because he's in love with Anna and he's over there like doing all of her chores and stuff. And she's just ignoring him to get with Brian Shelley and have all his babies. It's so sad. <laughs> now let's purchase a community lot, which I don't think she has enough. I think we're, I think it's like 30 something thousand. So we're just gonna do a mother load here just to make sure she has enough and then we'll set her money. So let's purchase community lot. Purchase the actual Llama Express. What are you doing? Is she mad because she sold her business? Was she upset over that? I don't know what that sign above her head was about. Look at her memories. Um, all right, so we want to buy post office. Yes, 39,000. I want to look at her memories. 
Earn 10,000. You didn't really earn 10,000 simoleons though. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want her to have that memory, but oh well. Um, and then let's see, let's set her money. So she should have 12 simoleons. <laughs> She's got literally 12 simoleons to her name, but she has 1500 in her bank account. So she's going to have to check her bank account and stuff at work because she doesn't have a computer at home. <laughs> and let's save. Now that we have that taken care of, she's broke. She has 1500 in savings. But yeah, the post office is not very profitable for her. Now let's have her walk over there and see if we can get some Sims to buy some postcards. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to go. I thought about maybe if I could find some custom content stationery, we could like sell stationery at the post office or something else to, to earn her a little bit more money. But I haven't been able to find any custom content stationery. So I don't know. 12 bucks. That's all she's got. She's got to earn some money before the bills come. <laughs> Thirteen is my lucky number. I was born on Friday the 13th, which has never been unlucky for me. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes, my angel. Oh, visitor controller. Thank you, Marta. Yes, yes. Okay, she's heading in to the shop. Let's open up the shop. Oh, it is open. Okay. It is open. And you know what? Come back down here. I know you want to go look at your light switches. I know you're just so enamored by those light switches but you need to set your customer limit to three because we cannot handle more than three customers with only one of you another really cool thing about these mailboxes is you can actually send a letter um get letters read letters send prank letters so they're actually functional he's rudy's probably here look christina's here oh my god we have nothing for sale our business is open. We have nothing for sale. Hold on. We got to And I also have to lock the doors. Okay, so I want to lock um, this door, allowing household and employees only, so that people can only go into the bathrooms. They can't go into the office and break room. And then, Christina, get out of the mail room. <laughs> allow household and employees only. Lock, allow household and employees only. Christina, no, you're going to be trapped in there. Oh, crap. I got to get you out. <laughs> I gotta get you out. You want to work here, Christina? You want to sort some mail? <laughs> and then let's set these postcards for sale. Okay. Yes, average eight simoleons. That, she's, that one's 12 and these are eight. I wish I could sell that. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to set it for sale and see what happens. It's not supposed to work, but I just want to see like what actually happens if they try to buy it for myself with my own eyes. Okay, Christina's thinking about babies and she's browsing, she's browsing. Get down here and let's try to sell her a postcard. She needs to send a postcard back to her family. Like, wish you were here on the commune with Anthony. <laughs> There's a parcel service for Sims to send packages to other Sims. Oh yeah, I remember reading about that. I need to look into that more, Christina. If you have links to that and you feel like it, post them in the Discord. Newspaper? I think the newspaper should only cost about one, yeah. Oh, look, here's a Royce. Royce wants a postcard. Oh, hello, Franklin. You're married. You cannot be swooning over Aaron, okay? <laughs> Come on, somebody buy something. Somebody buy something. Hello. Let's see if she has any sparks with Royce. Mm -hmm. Oh, she does. She has two bolts with Royce and two bolts with Franklin. She's got two bolts with every guy she meets. No, Royce is not taken. Hey, what are you doing, Franklin? You better not be flirting with her. Um, Let's see. Where's sales? We're going to hire you. Why do I not see sales here? Am I blind? Nope. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What are you here for, Franklin? What are you here for? Yeah, she's got two bolts with Royce. Um, she's going to do a cheer for him. 
<laughs> oh, because he doesn't have the bar yet? Oh, because he's not looking at it. I thought you could still do, like, may I help you, but that must be in the other games only. Oh, Christina bought something. Let's go be cashier. Come on, you don't have time to, to gossip with Franklin. Get over here and check out your customers. <laughs> I feel so bad that this is the only thing she has to sell. Like, we need to sell something else in here. The parcel service was from PC Sims. I think that's where this uh, this came from. I think that's where this came from. Okay, yeah, I'll check out the I'll check out the parcel service. I I know this. Uh, what do you call it? Mailbox is where that came from. Congratulations! This is the first simoleon earned by Aaron from the post office. Yay! Let's check her cash flow. She has, she's made eight simoleons. <laughs> oh my god. It's so bad. It sucks. She's gonna be here all day. She's gonna make 16 bucks. Oh, if it, it's when they're looking around confused. Okay. I see. All right, let's go see if we can sell uh, Franklin a postcard. Everybody needs a postcard. I can't believe she has so much chemistry with like everybody she meets. Oh, there's Dr. Hickey. Ooh, Dr. Hickey is likes likes what he sees. <laughs> Let's go greet him. Hello. Hello. Okay, we got to go be we got to go ring up a customer. We don't have time to talk to you right now. Yes, I know you think she's super hot. Maybe he could get with her because I don't think Anna is going to come around to him. I don't know. Let's see. We sold two more postcards. <laughs> That's, every Sim in town's gonna have a postcard. I don't care though. We just need to earn some money today. Um, so far, we've made twenty simoleons. <laughs> she's she's made like she's making like three dollars an hour. It, luckily, she has her uh, salary as well, or she would never make it. Um, let's see. I thought you were, I thought he was, did he just buy something? Yeah, he did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for making a purchase, Dr. Hickey. Look, now she doesn't like Royce. What? Oh no, that's Jason. Never mind. They're, they look the same. <laughs> Their thumbnail. Hey, Gabriel's here. Looking so good with his long hair. I love Gabriel. I can't wait till we play him. That's going to be fun. He's only had one job so far as the exterminator. Um, let's see. No, not, not that. Sales. I don't want to woohoo with him. I don't want to woohoo with him. I don't think. I know. It, if Kai comes in, I'm just waiting on him to throw a fit. She does seem to like dark-skinned blonde guys. Although she also likes Franklin. Hello, Gabriel. Please buy a postcard. Send it back to your family. Or whoever. Hmm. All right, who else we got in here? Anna's here. Hmm. Let's go do a sell on her. Is she? Oh, Aaron's getting hungry. We're going to have to close down soon. Oh, she just got a newspaper. Oh, it's going to reset. It's going to reset. Nope, they can't buy the newspapers. Okay, that's what happens. So I'm going to I'm going to set those as not for sale. That's too bad. I really wish they could buy a new buy the newspaper. I wish somebody could figure out how to fix that. Gabriel looks like your boyfriend. Ooh, Gabriel is Gabriel's the hottest sim in town. No, don't you can't eat right now. You have customers. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna shut down in just a minute. It's the post office, so they're gonna close early. As soon as the we ring up these sims, we're gonna close, and she's gonna go back home, and we're gonna start working on these relationships if she wants to. Right now, she doesn't even want to. Okay, I'm gonna close business. All right, we're closed. We're closed. Sorry, Nora. You didn't get your purchase in in time. We're closing early. Smart investing has increased your family funds by four simoleons today. And how much did she earn? 60 simoleons. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. 60 simoleons for all that work. My God. 
Well, like I said, at least she has her mail carrier salary too, because she's not going to be, or I guess she made 68 now. She's not going to be earning a lot uh, from the post office. So let's send her home now. She's just going to walk back home because she does not have a car. Which she really doesn't need one. Oh, oh no. We got somebody stuck on the lot again. I'm just going to get used to doing this every time. Um, so let's teleport, clear off all non-residents. And now she can leave. Did her rank go up? Um, no, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Nope, business rank zero. <laughs> She's rank zero. Oh, it says it right here. It was Lisa and Rudolph. You know it was. You know it was. <laughs> Okay, so she did her days of work at the post office. The post office is only going to open infrequently because she also has to do her mail carrier route. We'll just open the post office whenever we have the time and the inclination. Okay, it's raining. It's raining today. It's the last day of summer and it's about to turn into fall. Aaron's due home in six hours and 57 minutes. And I, what I found is that usually we've only been able to send our Sims to their, to their business like one day. And then they end up getting pregnant. We can't send them back. <laughs> She's the portable post office. Yes, yes. So I'm thinking I might allow mail delivery. Oh no, I forgot to do the visitor controller. We gotta do that right now. Adjust visitor controller and we have to first of all we're gonna ban mail delivery we're gonna ban newspaper delivery we're gonna ban garden club lady and we're gonna ban matchmaker but I'm thinking I might have to do plastic surgery for the mail carrier that we have to make them look like Aaron and then I will allow mail delivery because otherwise nobody's going to get any bills. I just won't ever have anybody interact with the mail carrier. We can just see Erin delivering the mail. We we know it's her, but we won't talk to her. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Oh, hello. Did you just think Ravi was hot? Oh, but she doesn't want to meet anybody and she needs some food. Sorry, Ravi. Another time, possibly. Um, She's going to go have some juice. All right, that's what you want to have for your meal? Juice? Not, no Melba. No Melba, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Depending on how you want to look at it, I guess. That is, that was a really bad meal. Okay, let's, let's actually cook something now. Let's have some subs. Because I do not want you to set the house on fire on your first day. Let's have some sub sandwiches. And then I guess we'll work on her skills. I really hope that she has the desire to have a relationship or this is going to be pretty boring. <laughs> Soon to be fired mail carrier. You, That's true, Christina. It could be her employee for now. Yeah, I like that idea. I had a sub yesterday. I got Subway yesterday. Um, and it was really good. I had a veggie sub. I like to load it up with vegetables. Really good. All right, she's going to take a shower. And then I want her to re-roll her once. So let's see. Uh, gain a body. Let's have her gain a body skill. She needs to get her body skill up anyway. Because uh, she's going to be delivering mail. So she needs to have a lot of... Okay, she can't work out because of this rug, I think. Oh, you're still hungry? Okay. Eat another sub. Two footlongs. She needs to eat two footlongs today. <laughs> Justice for Melba or Melba is canceled. We got two teams. <laughs> I'm not that crazy about Jimmy John's, but it could just be the one near my house isn't very good. I haven't had a firehouse sub in a long time. We don't have one of those here. The only sub places we have are Subway and uh, Jimmy John's. And I didn't like Jimmy John's when I got it. Your dad calls Subway the bread store? I mean, it basically is. If you eat a foot long, you're eating like an entire loaf of bread. 
<laughs> you gotta think about that. Somebody's calling. I wonder who's calling her. Hurry up and finish your sub. Oh, it's Franklin. Franklin, you need to get out of here, buddy. You, oh man. Yeah, this is not cool. She's good. I really hope she doesn't end up. He He's married. No. <laughs> Jimmy John's was your college go-to. I like that they deliver. I like that. And like I said, it could just be mine. The one by my house is bad because it's the only one I've ever had. <laughs> you got it too often. <laughs> the guys, the delivery guys were super hot. Calling for Jimmy John's every day. Need my sandwich fix. <laughs> I, I've never had Jersey Mike's either. We don't have that here either. Never had, never had that before. We used to have Blimpy. Blimpy is good. Do any of you guys have Blimpy subs? We used to have that in my hometown. And I loved it. It was like in a gas station. <laughs> I miss my Blimpy subs. Subway is like the the least good one. You have one there? A Blimpy? Blimpy it's like a sub place. Blimpies. I know they have them in the south. I don't know like what their area what their area is. They're they're really good. I don't know what Penn Station is either. Okay, stop talking to freaking Franklin. Freaking Franklin. Put away these leftovers before they go bad. You can't afford a bunch of groceries. <laughs> we always have to talk about food and I'm going to be starving. Okay, so I wanted to work on her body skill, but she can't work out in front of the TV because of this rug. So I'm going to just... She's taking the rug outside. It needs to be cleaned <laughs> so she can work out. Let's work out and get a body skill. That that will get her to reroll. Okay, what? Oh, she. It's not the rug. It's not the rug that's the problem. It's the TV thing. That doesn't make any sense. You should still be able to work out in front of it. Um. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do then. Let's do jump rope. I guess. Let's do jump rope. Oh man, I'm hungry too. I'm fasting today until 3 p.m. So I'm gonna be starving by the time I get off the stream. <laughs> Except for my coffee, I have my coffee. But I got Subway yesterday, so I guess I better make something for myself today. I don't know what I'm gonna have. She's very excited that she tried this fitness activity. I, like, we have, I think we have two Jimmy John's now. One's, like, right down the street, but I never get it. I don't, Marta. I don't have the exercise mat. No, I don't even know what that is. Does that make it so they can exercise? Like that? I'm doing, right now I'm doing 24-hour fasts. Or 23-hour, I guess, really. So I'm doing one meal a day. It's very easy for me to do. And it helps me like not overeat cuz I just eat all I eat all my calories at, at once. One time a day. <laughs> I don't think it was the couch that was causing it. Like I think it was I think it's a problem with the way the TV's sitting on this thing. Yes, I know we have to reset the clock every day. Yeah, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. I got, I'm got. i trying to lose some weight. I got to get ready for concerts next year. <laughs> it's almost concert time. Oh, that sucks, Anna. That would suck, yeah. Yeah, like a mat and they can do the same exercising as in front of the TV. Oh, yeah, I need that. I didn't know that was a thing. I need that for her. Okay, she got a skill. She got a body skill point. Now she wants cleaning, body, and charisma. Okay, I'm going to let her do a little bit more jump roping. Oh, no, she's got to go to work tomorrow, y'all. We got to get her to bed. We got to get her to bed. Maybe she'll... She wants to meet someone new. That's, like, the best thing we've gotten so far. But anyway, she needs to get ready for bed. And um, 
because she's got to go to work tomorrow. She's got to go deliver the mail to, to everyone in Edgewood tomorrow. <laughs> jump roping at 12 a.m. I can't imagine jump roping any time. I don't think I could jump rope right now. <laughs> I love the way the condo turned out, too. It looks really good. Or the townhouse or whatever you want to call it. Jump roping sounds horrible. I used to jump rope a lot when I was a little girl. Me, my sister, and my uh, cousin and my friends, we used to do double dutch. We could do all the tricks. Now I'm like, I don't want to walk outside. <laughs> Thank you, Marta. Thank you for posting that. Oh, delicious coffee. My coffee's getting cold. This is my second cup of coffee. I feel like I need three more cups. So in the morning, Erin is going to go on her first mail route. She's getting up now at 6 a.m. Oh, let's save, too. I don't know if I saved. Last time you jump rope, you were six. I was probably like 10 the last time. Mortimer wants to have 20 grandchildren. Jeez, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I love bike riding, too. I love riding a bike. It's so much fun. It's like the only fun exercise, in my opinion. But I hate exercising. <laughs> And so, Mr. Pleasant and I sometimes will ride our bike around the neighborhood or ride our bike to the store, to the grocery store. Because I got some saddlebags on my bike. So I can fill those suckers up. I can get like a whole week's worth of groceries in there. Hey, Allie. Welcome. I'm glad you could make it. Your 1 p.m. student was a no-show. What are you teaching, Allie? Did I miss, did I miss that? Um, let's go get her some breakfast so she can get ready for work. Did I... I think I missed, uh, I see something here that I did. Nope, it's there. Never mind. Okay, let's get her some breakfast. Let's have cereal. That'll, that'll be good to get you through your morning paper route or mail route. He has three grandsons from Cassandra and Dawn. Oh, man. Family elder sims usually want to have 20 grandchildren after their third grandchild is born. Oh, I don't think I've seen that very often. You teach English as a foreign language? That's awesome. I didn't know that. Well, I'm sad that your student didn't show up, but I'm glad that your student didn't show up so you could join us. <laughs> okay, so Erin's, she's eating her breakfast. She's going to go out on her first post, postal route this morning and earn some money that she desperately needs. That'll give her like 300 bucks of ca in cash. Oh, and then, I don't know. I just really hope that she rolls some better ones than just to get, get freaking charisma and earn money and go to work. Because that sucks. We want some relationships, Erin. <laughs> Do something interesting. <laughs> oh, it is. The corner counter's messed up. I don't feel like that was like that before. How did that happen? Fix it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, here she goes. Oh look, she changed into her mail. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see this. Oh, she changed into her mail suit. Aw, I don't know, her hair, her hair got shorter. When she puts on her work uniform, her hair gets shorter. But there she goes to deliver the mail. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the plastic surgery so that she, the mail carrier looks like her and everything appears to be working. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect solution, but it's as close as we can get. And she wants to be friends with Franklin! Franklin is already married. You cannot have Franklin. Okay? You cannot have Franklin. So I don't know what we're going to do about this. <laughs> yes, Royce is the driver. Yeah, maybe she wears extensions. I just saw Brian walk by. He was walking by. So she's friends with him. She wants to be best friends with him. I don't know. We got to get her. We got. We need to have her talk to Royce some more. He, I think he'd be a good match for her. I don't remember. Is he a romance sim? I think he might be a romance sim. Let me check. No, he's popularity. He's popularity, so that's not too bad. Oh, 250 she earned. I thought she was only going to earn 200. 
She earned 250. All right, I'll take it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She wants to invite someone over. Okay, this gives us our our pick, our pick of who we want to invite over. <laughs> no, I have to uh, Royce is the driver, but I am going to have to do plastic surgery on him to, on the driver too to make him look like Royce because there's no way to make him actually drive. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got to do that too. I'm going to have to do plastic surgery so far on Aaron and Royce. And I don't know who else right now. Those are the only two. Okay, so let's invite Royce over then. Let's see how it goes between them. Okay, get over here. I know you want to read the newspaper. Um, let's call Sim. And invite him over. And try to get try to get something going. She's been thinking about Royce. She's been thinking about getting to know him better. She wants to invite him over. Here you go, Royce Wheeler. Invite over. I hope he say, he might not say yes, y'all. He might not say yes. Because they don't know. I don't think he's saying yes. No. Oh, yes. Thanks. I'll see if I can make it over. Okay, he is. He's going to come. Okay, she needs to get... She needs to change her clothes real quick. Of course, she just wants to be friends with Franklin now. That's totally worthless. You need to change... You need to put, like, some kind of dresser down here so she doesn't have to go all the way upstairs. Change into your everyday outfit. Get yourself gussied up. Get yourself ready. <laughs> the driver and the postmaster. I love it. Hopefully. I don't know how this is going to work out. She's changing. Okay, she's going to come down and greet him. Greet Royce. Let's hope that they have some actual chemistry when they start getting to know each other. Yeah, she came back from work with letters still in her bag. <laughs> she did. She didn't deliver all the mail. <laughs> yeah, I think Royce did slip her his number. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Erin, you gonna talk to him or what? There's Kai. Hello, Kai. Um, no, she's gonna go brush her teeth. I guess she doesn't feel... Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's like, you're so hot when you're taking a dump in my bathroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, you know, get out. Hello, I gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> I hope he didn't stink it up too bad in there. <laughs> I didn't think she would actually go in there. Uh, she's not gonna answer the phone. She's got, I know it's gonna be Franklin calling. I know it is. She's not talking to you right now, Franklin. Okay, she's got company. After she brushes her teeth. I really hope that she goes um, to talk to him. You know what? Let's make some dinner for him. Let's serve. The, or let's just get those subs out. Let's get those subs out. <laughs> She's She keeps thinking that he's hot. Bathroom habits exposed. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I was hoping he would come eat with her. Call guest to meal. Come on. Come on. Come. She made some Italian subs just for you, Royce. Now come and eat with her and you guys can talk a little bit. <laughs> he was washing his teeth in the toilet. That's what he was doing. <laughs> okay, so they're talking now. She's talking about her degree. I don't think Royce has a degree. I don't remember. Let me see. Um, he does not have a degree. So she, he's like, oh, congratulations. Are you trying to rub that in my face, Aaron? <laughs> I know it is weird that they go for the toilet. He must, he must have really had to go. He just went straight in. He's like, I gotta, I gotta take a dump. I gotta use your toilet. I know we barely know each other, but please let me take a dump in your toilet. <laughs> he might have wants for her, but she doesn't have wants for him. <laughs> Where are his teeth? <laughs> He's got teeth on the backside. <laughs> and okay, they're talking about like school and education and stuff. And now they're talking about like making out. Let me see. Uh, oh, their relationship's going up nicely. She still has no wants towards him. Let's put these leftovers away. And she's really gotta go to the bathroom. Maybe now that she's getting to know him more, she will roll once for him. 
Um, let's have her go to the bathroom. The booty that bites back. <laughs> oh, I don't want any of that. I don't want anything to do with that. Oh, I'm really hoping that she'll just go and, like, talk to him. She's making it so difficult. Like, have some wants. Don't do dishes. She's making... Oh, he's trying to talk to her. Oh, no, stop doing dishes. He wants to talk to you. Get up, get over here. He wants to talk to you. Oh, my God. Now he doesn't want to talk to her anymore. You missed your opportunity. Oh, he's coming back. Stop cleaning. Stop cleaning. Okay, here he goes. Oh, he gave her a hug. Aw. Okay, come on. Come on. And toss football. They're going to toss football together. Okay, that's something. I'll allow it. I'll allow you to toss football together. Okay, here we go. They're going to spend their evening. It's 9.50 at night. They're going out in the front yard to toss football. <laughs> Hug means try for baby. <laughs> I don't know. Erin is making it very difficult on us. I don't know if we're going to get a baby from her today. She's making it hard. Toss football means try for baby. <laughs> They are the only ones in town who take it slow. Everybody else has been like, boom, we just met. Let's try for baby. <laughs> so I kind of like that Erin's taking it slow. She doesn't want to rush into your relationship like every other woman in town. <laughs> hey, baby, want to toss the football? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so they, they, they're done tossing football. Okay. He's going to brag to her. She's listening to bragging. He's like, I'm so great. I have so many friends. That's what he's bragging about. <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> She's like, I love a man with a lot of friends. And oh, no, no, no. Come back. He's going to serenade her. He's going to serenade her. Oh, <gasps> yes. He's serenading her. They're going to have some romance. <laughs> I know, Christina. I know. Okay, well, I mean, that was something. Now they went down to one bowl? What the heck? No, they, now they went back up to two. She's going to take a bath. <laughs> She's going to take a bath. She's like, um, thank you for the serenade. I gotta go take a bath now. I'm hoping... I wanted them to become friends because then I felt that she would roll some more wants for him, but I don't know how that's gonna go. It's getting really late. And I think she's gonna have to go to bed. He's trying. I know, he's trying. ACR tried to do its thing. Oh, you know what? We don't have an ACR adjuster. Hold on. Let's um, spawn adjuster. Maybe she'll call him for a booty call. <laughs> change to... No, change to orchid. Change to orchid. And let's put this... I don't know where we're going to put this. Is there anywhere we can put it downstairs? Put it on the table. There we go. He's, he's in here laughing maniacally at her, at her laundry stuff. Drive for baby. <laughs> Maybe they can try for baby in the back of his car. <laughs> yeah, he's a terrible singer. Um, I don't know what he's doing. He's coming. Oh, oh, he's going to caress her. He's going to caress her. Come on, stop looking at the towels for God's sake. Okay, here we go. He wants to caress you. No, come on. Come on. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Get what? No. I don't want to do anything because I'm afraid they're going to. Oh, crap. Okay, come on. Go, go out here. I don't know why you guys couldn't get that together. I don't know why you couldn't put that together. Um. Okay, be caressed. He still wants to caress her. There we go. She's receptive. She is receptive. I know the shuffling. Okay, she's got to go to bed. I'm sorry. She's got to say goodbye. She's really tired. Thank you. Oh, he's going to whistle at her. All right, all right. But she, she's got to go to bed, though, Royce. I appreciate you stopping by. She's got to go to bed. <laughs> well, we made a little progress. They almost became friends. He's definitely interested in her. He's definitely interested in her. He went up to, he caressed her. He serenaded her. He whistled at her. So there's some interest there. 
Let's hope that she rolls some more ones for him. Um, I'm going to save now. They're not friends yet. They're like so close. They were so close to becoming friends. Hopefully tomorrow. She's got to go deliver the mail tomorrow and then we'll see what happens after that. Maybe, I'm hoping she's going to want to become friends with him or something. She's de she's definitely playing hard to get. She's taking it really slow, especially compared to our other Sims. Our other Sims are just like, bam, they're in a relationship immediately. Okay, Erin, you gotta go to work. Get up, get up. You're just gonna be hungry today. I don't know what to tell you. Go use the bathroom. You don't have time to get anything to eat. You just don't have time. She's trying. She's trying to get some juice before she has to go, but she's not gonna make it. She wants to go to work, so then she's going to re-roll a want, which is probably going to be something really stupid, like be friends with Franklin. Yeah, we got to change the driver to look like Royce, and then Royce is going to drive her to work every day. <laughs> Magical baby. Okay, she's she's going. All right, let's see what she rolls. Dang it, it's for Franklin. No, Franklin is already taken. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need her to roll a want for Royce. Maybe she'll want to invite somebody over again thanks to her popularity secondary when she gets home. And if not, we'll have her just get another skill point, see if we can get her to re-roll. I think this is going to happen, but it's she's not making it easy on us. That's all I can say. She's not making it easy on us at all. She got something to eat at work. Man, she's delivering mail all the way till 5 p.m. It, it may not be. It may not be romance. Yeah, with these two, with Franklin, yeah, she just wants to be friends with him right now. She doesn't have any romantic feelings towards Franklin, but I don't even really want to work on that friendship because I want to work on a, a real relationship for her. Oh, she just earned money. Yes, she wants to invite someone over again. <laughs> And there's the mayor. Hey, 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 Athena. Um, okay, so let's go invite Royce back over. It's she's we're barely getting there. We're barely getting there. <laughs> yeah, she I agree. She's just friendly with Franklin, I think. But it's clogging up our want slots. <laughs> and where are you, Royce? We're inviting him back over. Praying for babies. I swear if they try for baby. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Okay, good. He's coming over. She's going to go change. While she waits on... Now she wants to jump rope. Great. Great. That's cool. I mean, I guess you can jump rope. Even though you've got an attractive man coming over to your house to serenade you. You just want to jump rope and get skill points. What is she doing? Oh! <gasps> Oh, she's relaxing. <laughs> Why are you relaxing in the bed? Okay, he well, he's obviously not not coming up here. Oh, I think she was just actually relaxing. I think she was just actually relaxing. I don't think she was really I don't think she was really I thought they were about to go upstairs. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We'll see how it goes. Aw, kiss kiss, darling. Oh, hello. He just squeezed her. Hey, Diana. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, she just relaxed. Not ACR relaxing. Um, okay, they want to play catch together. They love playing sports together. They like to hang out, toss the football, play catch with the baseball. <laughs> oh man i i really thought they were gonna go they were gonna go at it there but she was actually relaxed every time i see a sim relax i'm like oh god here it comes here it comes but no she was just doing it <laughs> she was just doing the real uh reaction oh hello uh leslie thanks for walking by my house i guess so I'm just gonna let them do this as long as they'll as long as they want, I guess. She doesn't have any other wants. How long are you guys gonna do this? She's gonna have to go to the bathroom soon. Oh, there they go. And they're still oh, they're friends now. They're friends. Yay! And she wants to give him a back 
rub. His hobby might be sports. Let me see. Um, I don't know what his hobby is. I do not. I don't think we know because I don't have it written down. Okay, she gave him a back rub. I'm just gonna wait and see what else happens. All right, she's gonna kiss him tenderly. Oh my. Okay, she's kissing him. Oh, they just got a crush on each other. I think this is gonna work out. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes, everybody. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Here it comes. Now, there. You know they're about to try for baby. I'm not. There. You know they are. I know they are. I'm not even gonna get surprised about it. I'm not even gonna get surprised. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought too, Olya. Peck. Okay, they're doing a peck. Not even gonna be shocked anymore. <laughs> Kiss romantically. I'm gonna be shocked. Yep, there it goes. Try for baby. <laughs> they're trying for freaking baby, y'all. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna be shocked if they don't try for baby. I'm gonna be shocked. But they did. They did. Well. <laughs> And they're not even, like, they just got a crush on each other. They're not even dating or anything. Oh, they're like, well, we got to do our duty for Edgewood. We got to repopulate the town. <laughs> yep. That, there, so there goes that. She may not have gotten Prego, though. Um, be caressed. And this is all ACR, because she has not really wanted to do any of this. They do not hesitate. They do not. Uh, she, you know what? She needs to go to the bathroom. I think that's as good as we're gonna get tonight. No, Royce. You know why are you always taking a dump in my house? <laughs> he's always up here. He's always over here using her bathroom. Don't you have your own bathroom? <laughs> They're very progressive. Yep, one kiss was all it took. One kiss, and she was like, you know what? That was a good kiss. Let's have a baby. <laughs> okay, she... I'm gonna have her take a bath. And then she's gonna have to go to bed. She got all she's gonna get out of this situation. Let's go to sleep. After she cleans the tub. Sorry, Royce. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> her needs are going down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did she get prego? I don't know. <laughs> this is my he's washing his teeth <laughs> okay gotta reset the clock i don't care having to reset that clock every day is still worth it i love those clocks <laughs> don't say it olia don't say twins <laughs> i don't want twins i think they did participate in a presentation that encouraged them to procreate yes i definitely think so i think they were like okay you guys are going to to colonize edgewood and we need you to to procreate okay everybody just get together start making babies <laughs> that's right he knows he's moving in christina he knows he is <laughs> oh what's she doing oh she's going to get something to eat all right uh she keep she loves juice she's like every time she goes on her own she gets juice and he, she wants to be BFFs with Royce. Or best friends. Yeah, best friends forever. Or just best friends, not BFFs. I don't know. Okay, Erin, you need more than that. You need more than that for breakfast. But there's nothing else. Oh, yeah. get let, Eat yourself a sub, girl. You gotta get... You need some protein. Some carbs. <laughs> hey, Shannon. <laughs> Yeah, that was their sex ed class. It's good. Do it more. <laughs> nope. Nobody has nobody has been on birth control in this neighborhood. Um, let's see. I get, oh, she's got to go to work now. All right. Carpool's here. Royce is here to pick you up. We're going to pretend that's Royce in there. <laughs> they showed them a video of rabbits and we're like, take notes. This is how you, this is how we want you to do it. Okay, she's going to work and she wants to meet someone new. Well, too bad. Look at those needs though. I don't know if it's just because I'm in speed three. She probably got prego. She probably did. Let's see if she got, if she gets her baby bump on Thursday, Friday, 
she gets the second one on Friday and gives birth to the baby on th Saturday. So we, if she's pregnant, we will get a baby today. If she's pregnant. Now, what the heck letter are we even on? I don't even know. I gotta go look at my spreadsheet. We're on the letter I. I. Letter I. If we do have a baby. <laughs> the mayor outlawed birth control for anyone but her. I can totally see that. Oh, look, she her investments made six simoleons. Man, she's doing pretty well for herself making 250 bucks a day. That's more than my other Sims are making. And she wants to invite Royce back over. Okay. Every day she invites him over after work. It's like a tradition now. Oh, yeah, we said we were going to go with Ivy. Hey, Mindy. <laughs> We said we were going to go with Ivy when we had an eye baby. Um, okay, let's see. I feel like, did we name another Sim Ivy? I don't know. I f <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Shannon. Okay, let me see. Where's Royce? Come on over. I hope Babby was formed. He wore her down. <laughs> yeah. Miles. I, I hashtag ref. That's what we're going to name the baby. <laughs> Okay, he's on his way over, and she's actually getting wants for- She wants to play with him now, but you know what? She needs to eat first. She needs to eat. Um, once he- I'm gonna wait for him to come over. She needs to go change her clothes. And then she's gonna make dinner for both of them, and then they can play some- They like to play sports outside together. He just came right in. He doesn't even knock anymore. He's like, mm -hmm, I'm just coming right in now. <laughs> he's just making himself at home. Going in, watching TV. Um, okay, let's serve dinner. Let's make some potato soup. That's nice and hearty for a nice fall day. We're gonna have some potato soup. I just realized we have no burglar or no, uh, 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 we have no fire alarm. We have no fire alarm. I gotta buy a fire alarm right now because I don't want her to burn up and die. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, good, good, good. And they, she also has no burglar alarm. So I'm going to spend some of her money on a burglar alarm too because I don't want anybody to steal her stuff. There we go. That took that took a chunk of her money. Okay. Yeah, they had they did an ACR try for baby yet. <laughs> I really I kind of do hope that she got pregnant and I kind of think she is pregnant. Because I feel like her needs are going down a lot. She wants to buy a painting. Alright, we can buy a painting. Where could we put a painting? Hmm, which room needs a painting? Let's see, we can put one in the bathroom, I guess. Or maybe... Yeah, we can... This bathroom... This wall needs a painting. Let's buy a painting. She wants to spend that money as soon as she makes it. She wants to spend it. Let's put a painting in the bathroom. Let me see something like bluish. Oh, I think one of Marta's paintings would look nice. Maybe not too, I don't know if it's gonna be the right color blue. That's perfect. Is that against the wall? Yeah. Okay, she bought a painting, fulfilled that one. Now roll some better ones. She wants to be friends with Franklin again, of course, of course. The burglar will also need plastic surgery. Yes, you're right, Hendrick. And the fire, the firemen. Um, I have a mod, so the firemen should actually. Is it the firemen? No, it's the policemen. Yeah, the firemen will need plastic surgery too. I'm gonna have to do it to several different Sims. The the firemen, the mail carrier, the driver, the cop. We won't have to do. Because the cop, it'll actually be the policeman that comes because of a mod. Oh, hello, Catherine. Hello. Um, I guess you can come in if you want. Thanks for coming to visit. Let me finish my suit first and then I'll greet you. <laughs> the burglar, the fireman, the driver, the mail carrier, and the newspaper person. So there's at least five. <laughs> they both like juice. Okay, are you gonna greet your friend? She's out here waiting. 
I, ne I need to encourage this friendship because Catherine hates everybody except for like Aaron. And, and who else was it that she liked? I can't remember. Yeah, the police will actually be Kai's the firefighter. So the policeman is Bruno. It'll actually be Bruno. Oh, they just became best friends. She wants to gain a cleaning skill, gain a body skill. What are they doing? They're going to toss football. All right. That's cool, I guess. Oh, I just realized that I don't have a car spawning hydrant on this lot. So no cars are driving by, y'all. We got to get that. We got to get the hydrant. Wait, I think it's under miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Yeah. We got to get the hydrant going. I'm going to put it right here in the corner. There we go. Now we get some cars driving by. Yeah, it'll be the real Bruno will be dri will actually show up whenever we need a policeman. So that's the only one that I think we can do. Cause I I wanted to find out if we could do it for the uh, firefighter because I thought it might be similar. But then I think I read on Midge the Tree's site that she couldn't do the firefighter because it was like something different in the way it was programmed and it wouldn't work for the firefighter. So that's too bad. The mod is called Playable Cops. It's by Midge. So it will act, and when a cop shows up, it'll actually be somebody employed in the law enforcement career in your neighborhood. And since we're only going to have one person employed in the law enforcement career right now, it'll be Bruno every time. <laughs> oh, he was trying to talk to her. Oh, she's like, oh my God. Oh my God. We got to take care of her, y'all. If she's prego, she's got to go to sleep. Okay. She's got to, she can't be out here in the middle of the night. Oh my God. Go to sleep. I know Royce is trying to talk to her, but she needs her rest more. We got to take care of this if there's a baby on the way. What time did they woohoo? Shouldn't it be like really soon she would be getting her baby bump? Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. She's prego. <laughs> she got it. So it's 10 p.m. on Thursday. So Friday at 11, she'll get baby bump number two. Saturday, so it'll actually be Sunday at midnight. Sunday at midnight. And she's on maternity leave now. Okay, go to sleep and get some rest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I can't believe it. I did not think we were going to get a baby today because she was taking it so slow. What is up with the hydrant? Okay, I'm. you know what? I'm thinking maybe the hydrant's not going to work on this lot because it's too small or something. I don't know. It keeps resetting, so I'm just going to delete it for now. I'll try to figure that out later. I'm a little surprised because they were taking it so slow in the beginning. I didn't think that she that she was actually going to go through with it. But I should have known ACR would take over. <laughs> there is something in the water for sure. There is. Everybody's having babies. But that's good because they're going to give our give us our next generation. And our next generation, are we're going to have employees to work at the shops. We're going to have new business owners. We're going to have some of these kids will be taking over their parents' businesses. And it's going to be so fun just to play this through the generations. I love it so much. She's keeping up with the baby town tradition. <laughs> oh, God. Go to the bathroom. And then go get some food. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go get some food immediately. Oh, no. The food went bad. No, no. I forgot to put it away. Okay, just, you're just gonna have to get some bread. You better get this bread. Can we not have bread? No, where's the bread? Make. Where's the bread? Oh, it has to be under group meal. Pumpkin bread, get your pumpkin bread. It's fall. So she's gonna have some pumpkin bread. So far we have, let's see. We have little baby Rudolph and little baby Heath. So we have two, we've had two boys um, born in the neighborhood. And also Anna is, Anna is pregnant again, y'all. She's pregnant again. I don't know if you saw my post. I don't know if you saw my post in the, in the, uh, in the sub only discord. But yeah. Oh my God. Eat that. Eat that. Don't just put it on the floor. So we're going to definitely have another baby when we come back to that round. But so this is going to be our third baby. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, she's going to serve the bread here. That's fine. I don't care. Just eat it. Just eat it. 
<laughs> Floor bread. Yeah, so this baby will be baby number three. And I hope it's a girl because we only, we've had two boys so far. So we need some girls. Yep, spoiler, Anna, Anna's pregnant again. <laughs> so in our last stream, that she tried for baby right again, right at the end of the stream. Like, I was like, oh my God. So I had to go back in there and take a screenshot. And yeah, she was prego. She went and puked immediately. Okay, um, just clean this up real quick and then you can eat some more bread. Eat some more bread and then go take a bath. That sounds like a good day. Eating bread, taking a bath. <laughs> yeah, Anna's pre prego again, yes. She is. <laughs> Bye, Brian, by the way. She can have two of his illegitimate children. Nope, it was from, it's the second one. <laughs> yes, she's pregnant again. Um, but Aaron is going to have our baby number three. <laughs> My dream day minus the pregnancy, yes. Give me a plate of pumpkin bread and a nice relaxing bath. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. Pumpkin bread sounds really good, though, doesn't it? I want some pumpkin bread. I haven't had any pumpkin stuff yet. I need some pumpkin stuff. So she's going to go take a bath, get her comfort up some more. It's already pretty high. She got child support. Oh, yeah. Giving us that child support. Yes, Brian, again. She tried for baby with him again on her own. She did. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the bathroom and then um, I guess she can work on some of her skill points today. Okay, she's cleaning. That's good. Working on that cleaning skill point. Let's have her go study cleaning. We're basically just trying to get through now. Study cleaning. She still wants to be best friends with Royce. And she wants to have two best friends. So her first best friend is Catherine. So I guess her second best friend is going to be Royce. We should probably invite him over soon. Yeah, he already has three kids and we haven't even played him yet. Yes. Yes. He's getting around. He's getting around town. <laughs> He's spread those genes far and wide. I know the next generation will be huge. It's the town's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh, look, Catherine came over again. Let's go greet her. And hey, she just got her uh, cleaning skill point. All right. What do you want to buy? A makeover station? No. No, you don't. You don't have any interest in that. Okay, come on, greet Catherine. Greet Catherine. No, don't write in your diary. For God's sake, you're just leaving your best friend out here just hanging. <laughs> okay, so she's. They're gonna hang out together today, I guess. Oh look, she's talking to the belly. Aw, that's so cute. She wanted to come check on Erin and see how she was doing. That's so nice. See, Catherine's not all bad. She's just very choosy in who she can stand to be around. <laughs> I can relate. I can relate, Catherine. <laughs> Surprise, I'm pregnant by a guy I just met. <laughs> I'm mad and lonely and hate everyone. Please talk to me. Yep, that's Catherine, all right. But Catherine has, I'm glad she has a friend in town. I really do. And the, man, they love to play catch. Okay, her hunger and energy. Sorry, sorry, we gotta take care of her. We can't we can't let anything happen to this baby. So go grab a plate of food and then you're gonna go take a nap. A plate of bread. The bread is so good for your for your pregnant sins. I, I do not regret it. Pumpkin bread and banana bread. I you know, I wanna make some pumpkin bread now. I think that'd be really good with like a cream cheese like frosting on it. Maybe a pumpkin cake. Maybe a cake is what I want. <laughs> yeah, the only friend she will ever have. All right, she's got to go sleep for a while. I don't know if Catherine's still here. Catherine's out here doing her yard work. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Catherine's like, you just go rest and I'm going to trim your hedges because that's what friends do. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's Robbie. Robbie and Catherine are enemies. Oh, I hope they don't get into a fight. 
You downloaded the bread for your pregos. It's so helpful because they have an instant meal and it really fills up their hunger a lot. It's better than the than the in-game instant meal. I know, Brian's losing money. The doctor's getting rich. The doctor is getting rich. Um, he, let's see, he's already done two, he's already had three home visits. And he's made 600, 2300, and 500, and he's about to probably make another 500 off of Erin, depending on what services she needs. <laughs> yes, Catherine is so sweet. Sometimes, only to Erin, basically. She's only sweet to Erin. Okay, get up and go to the bathroom. She's going to be getting her second baby bump tonight. She wants to go to work. Well, you cannot go to work right now. <laughs> I know Brian's making the doctor rich. <laughs> yeah, that I counted that um, in the twenty three hundred for the fertility treatment. So he got a six hundred, then he got a twenty three hundred, and then he got a five hundred payment. Okay, so let's go eat some more bread. I just want to keep her stuffed full of bread. We don't want to take any chances. I like how it doesn't go bad either. It just sits there because it's bread. <laughs> Yeah, and so he's about to get another payment from this. 500 minimum is how much he gets for a home birth. No, actually, he got more money from Leslie because he gave her, he ended up giving her a fertility treatment. So he ended up actually getting more for her uh, losing the baby. But he's he's gonna be loaded no matter what, especially with as fast as much as these Sims are reproducing. Yeah, we would have had four babies. That was so sad. Oh my gosh, it was so sad. Okay, let's go answer the phone, see who's calling. We gotta keep a close eye on her if she's gonna be talking on the phone. She has to do her dishes first. She's very neat. She's like, I'm not, I can't just put my dish on the floor like a slob. Bread goes dry, yeah, it does, it does. I, where I live, because the air is so dry, like, we have to pretty much keep our bread in a bread box. Because if you just leave it out on the counter, it'll be all dried up in, like, a day. <laughs> I do not love dry, crispy bread. <laughs> Unless it's baked like that. Yeah, he doesn't get any money. He doesn't lose any money if he delivers his own baby, I don't think. I don't think he'll just... He just does that service for free. <laughs> Oh, she made best friends with Royce. Yay. Now she wants to have three best friends. I don't know who could be her next best friend. I guess Franklin or Melanie. All right. So I'm going to send her back to take another bath. Like, I'm just on these needs. I'm just on it. She's going to take another bath and go to sleep. She's going to be getting her baby bump very, very soon. Her second baby bump very, very soon. Come on. And I wonder if she's going to want to, like, move in with Roy or if she's going to want to, like, get engaged to Royce or marry him, or if she's just content for them to live separately and raise the child between them. I don't know how, what's going to happen. Um, I'm interested to see. Oh, here it goes. Second baby bump is here. All right, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. <laughs> You have a bread box, but you don't use it because you keep forgetting the bread in there and it goes bad. <laughs> I, we I, we use ours for all of our bread. I mine is my bread box is metal, and it like has the little the top that slides open, but it works really well. It keeps our bread fresh, keeps it from drying out in the desert in the desert air. Okay, I'm just gonna let her sleep as long as Paul, as long as she wants to sleep. And she, we just have one more day to get through. Then we're gonna have our baby. I really hope it's a girl. It'll probably be a boy. Knowing our luck, it'll be a boy. But it doesn't matter as long as it all evens out in the end. And let's go get some bread. It's still here. It's still here, and it's still good. <laughs> let's go grab that bread. Oh, she's checking out her new painting. She likes her new painting. Yeah, both of the bo both of the babies have been boys. We got Rudy and we got Heath, Heath Shelley and Rudy Shelley, and they are both Brian's babies. 
They're both of the babies that we have in Edgewood were fathered by Brian. <laughs> yep. Rudolph Brian Shelley and Heath Brian Shelley. They both were named after they both have their father's middle name. <laughs> Erin has the day off today. See, she should be going to the post office to sell postcards, but she can't do that today. Because she's pregnant, so the post office is just closed down. Yeah, both boys are related. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they were boys or girls or what, because they're related. But hopefully, uh, Aaron here can have a girl. So it could possibly be a, a partner for one of them. Or if she has a boy, maybe one of them will be gay. We don't know who's going to be gay and straight either. This is going to be real interesting to see once we get through the whole round, like how many children we have of each gender, who's gay, who's straight, who's going to get together. It's going to be so much fun all over again for the second generation. <laughs> don't say it, Shannon. Not twins. Not twins. <laughs> I don't want twins. Uh, okay, charisma, cleaning, and body. She still wants to get skill points, and she's really her needs are really good. So I guess we'll just go. What does she need here? Um, she doesn't have a charisma yet, so let's have her go practice her speech for a little bit until she gets too tired. Or actually, she can do it in the living room in this nice mirror. But yeah, I mean, if we did have twin girls, it would be perfect because then we'd have two boys and two girls. So the population would be pretty even. Yeah, that's true. Gay people in this town can't procreate and they have to rely on the accidental pregnancies. Yep. It is going to be rough on them. But hopefully we'll get some... Who is our... Oh, our mayor. Hopefully our mayor is going to have some babies. <laughs> some secret love children that our gay sims can adopt. And I think we have one more romance uh, female sim, too. I can't... Who is it? Is it Paige? Yeah, Paige, our maid, is also a romance sim. So she could possibly have a baby as well that could go to the orphanage. We could... We might be able to do a surrogate. That's true. Like, maybe if we have a gay couple and they ha they're they really good friends with a family sim, I might allow a surrogacy. You have the triplets and quad mod because you're on expert mode. <laughs> and you have request sperm donation. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we might try to work that in. I think I would have to set conditions for it. Like, the couple would have to be good friends with a family sim. And then the family sim could do a surrogacy for them or something. Yeah, I think we could do that. Breaking news, recent forbidden child found by fire station is child of Mayor Athena. I know, there's going to be so much scandal and rumor going around about that. I think what we'll do is if Athena gets pregnant, she's not going to keep the baby. She's not. She's just not into that. And we're going to have to hide her away and, like, keep her out of the public eye the whole time she's pregnant. Nobody can know. And she's going to have to smuggle that kid to the orphanage in the middle of the night. That's what we're going to have to do. <laughs> yes, that's it. I like that idea, Hendrick. Yes, if we did surrogacy, Dr. Hickey could perform the procedure and we could pay him for that. Yes, I like that. We're, we're going to have some scandals going on in this town eventually. Okay, Franklin's here to visit. Let's go talk to him. Greet Franklin. I think Franklin and Aaron, I think they're just like, they're almost like brother and sister. They have like a, a very friendly relationship. Aww. He's coming to check on her. And what is he doing? Be admired. Okay, you better not start flirting though. You better not start flirting. Oh, they just became best friends. So she's got three best friends now. Well, they're going to play catch together. Okay, I have to watch her needs. There goes Athena again. <laughs> All right, get out of here, Athena. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> hey, it's Franklin. I don't remember that cartoon. Uh, okay, so sh I'm going to let her play catch for a little bit, but she's going to have to go in and start taking care of her needs soon. Give her like 30 more minutes to play. All right, you're good. Sorry, Franklin. She's prego, and she's got to take care of herself. We're gonna do take go to the bathroom and let's go eat some more bread. Do we still have more bread? No, all the bread's gone. We gotta make some more. 
We're gonna this time we're gonna have banana bread. Let's let's switch it up. Oh, Franklin the Turtle? Yes, I do remember that. Yes, I do remember that, Shannon. I think that was on PBS. Yes. <laughs> I do, I do. Until you said turtle, I didn't put it together. Yeah, that was Athena. She's checking up on how things are going. She's like, all right, I hope all y'all are out here procreating now. I need some tax money. <laughs> okay, eat your bread. Oh, he's gonna join her for some bread. How nice. Yeah, so they just have a nice little friendship. There's nothing else between them. That's really nice. She's telling him about the baby. Because Franklin's a family, Sam. He's very interested. He's very interested in her baby. Oh, no. Wait, what? Four days left in winter. It already changed to winter? Oh, crap. We're supposed to be changing. But you know what? We're going to stay here till the baby's born. We're going to stay here till the baby's born. That's okay. We might be one day late. But we can't leave now. <laughs> we cannot leave now. We got to stay here. <laughs> Oh my god, Shannon, you colored yourself green like a turtle. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, we have to stay, guys. We can't leave when she's just about to give birth. We gotta we gotta do this. Okay, let's have her go take a bath. And yeah, we gotta we gotta be here for the baby. It's coming tonight. So it's not like we have to wait days. I forgot we're only playing four days. I was thinking it was gonna a week. Did it play on Noggin? I don't know. I thought I remembered it from PBS, but I could be wrong. I know, I feel bad for Franklin too. Oh, hello. Oh, Leslie's here. Leslie's like, hey, hey, what's going on in here? What's going on in here? Why are you in the bathroom with my husband? <laughs> Come out here and greet, greet Leslie. Go chat with her. Tell her there's nothing to worry about. Oh, you gotta go to sleep too. Franklin, get out of the way! No, Franklin, no! Oh my god. Just, she's gotta go. No! Okay. No, Franklin, no. Bad, Franklin. Bad! Bad! Your wife is here! What is wrong with you? Oh my god! Okay, so then these two are. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what's going on with that. So I think he has a secret crush on his friend Aaron, but, and I think something's going on with him after the whole miscarriage thing. I don't know. He needs to go deal with that. He needs to go deal with that. Okay, so she's sleeping and the baby is going to be here very, very soon. Oh, why is my game freezing? Don't freeze. Oh, because it's turning to snow. The only time my game freezes is whenever the snow changes, the snow level changes, or there's a, a witch. That's it. I know one of those things is happening. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is there is there What's going on with the snow? Is there snow in here? Is there snow in the house? Do you guys see that? Oh, I wonder if it's because it's on the edge like that. But it's not on the other edge. That's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. I would be suspicious too. I would be suspicious too if it was my husband. He's hanging around with his pregnant friend after his wife miscarried. And he was... He's obviously interested in her, but he needs to, he needs to figure that out. He needs to deal with that. Oh, I want to check her, uh, yes, she has a point to spend. We're going to put that in slower social and comfort. I don't know what's going on with that snow. That's weird. Yeah, he wants a baby really bad, and I think he's dealing with some emo- I think he's almost having, like, a midlife crisis after that happened. But I think once we get back over to his family, um, we can make things- we can fix things over there. They're gonna, hopefully they're gonna try again. He steals the baby, no! Yeah, I wonder what this baby's gonna look like. It could have 
she has skin three, I think, and then Royce has skin four. And then it could be red or blonde. It could have red or blonde hair. And what are their eye colors? Let me see. Uh, Paige, uh, Paige. Royce's eye color is... I don't know. What is Royce's eye color? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, it's green. He has green eyes and Aaron has brown eyes. Yeah, he is. He's a little too into it, isn't he? He's a little too into it. Okay, she's gonna go get some bread. And we have like an hour and a half until the baby's due. She's gotta eat. She's gotta get her strength up. She's gotta carbo load. <laughs> I think he is living vicariously through Aaron's pregnancy. It's really sad. It could be a blonde, brown-eyed. It could be a red, green-eyed. It could be a red, brown, gr blonde, green. <laughs> it could be any combination thereof. It's going to be interesting to see. This is why I wanted to make all of my Sims like genetically diverse as possible. So, because I just like to see what the babies, how the babies turn out. Alright, why don't you go? Oh, we need to get Dr. Hickey over here. We need to get Dr. Hickey over here. We're gonna call him. I don't know if he's gonna come. We might have to teleport him over because it's getting, oh, we're not gonna make it. I forgot to call the doctor. Doctor, hurry, hurry. I'm gonna call him, but I don't think he's gonna say, oh, he's not gonna say yes. It's like 11.52. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try. He's probably gonna say, I'm asleep. What are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. Sure, I suppose coming over couldn't hurt. See ya. Okay, he's coming. And he's coming the re the natural way. I didn't even have to teleport him. So he's on his way over. Um, I'm going to send her upstairs. I think we have literally like 14 minutes. I'm going to send her upstairs to the bedroom. No, no, no. I can't send her upstairs because she, she's going to have to greet the doctor. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I should have just teleported him over. Oh, she's going into labor. Come on, Dr. Hickey. Come on. You know what? I'm not going to wait for him. I'm just going to teleport him. Can I, I wonder if I can still teleport him. Let's see. Teleport. Summon. There. It still let me teleport him. Okay, and then I'm going to move him in here. He needs to be with her while this is happening. Okay. <laughs> we also didn't invite Royce over. Oh my god. I'm I'm so bad. Okay, this is my fault, so I'm going to teleport him over. I'm a, we're going to say that she just called him and she called the doctor. She called them both. Like, I'm going into labor. Where are you? What house is he? I don't remember what house he's in. Not in the... No, no, no. Layton? Yeah, okay. All right, she just invite. She just called both of them at the same time. She was like, "I'm in labor. You guys better get over here." Oh, I like Ivory. I like that. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. She needs all of your help and support here. She needs all your. They're both freaking out. Doctor Hickey, you should not be freaking out. You've done this already. You've already done this. Yes, it's only one baby. It's a girl. It's a girl. Okay, we're going to name her last name. I'm going to make her last name Wheeler. Just so I can keep up with whose baby it is. I'm going to break my own rules. Because I have a feeling they're probably going to end up getting married anyway. Oh, it's a little girl. She's born on a snowy night. Yay. <laughs> Oh my god, she has no hair! What the heck's wrong with her head? <laughs> She's got blonde hair and green eyes. She has blonde hair and green eyes. I don't know why her hair's not showing up. Something weird's going on. Okay, what are we gonna name her? We're gonna name her Ivory? Dr. Hickey's fighting with him in the background? We're gonna name him Ivory or Ivy? What do you guys think? I don't know. Ivory? Ivory Wheeler. Okay, that's what you guys like. That's what we're gonna do. She's got an empty head. <laughs> so this is Ivory Wheeler. She has no head. 
I don't know why I have that has never happened to me before. Usually my babies have the baby hair, so I don't understand why she doesn't have it. <laughs> but she's got blonde hair. Um she's got her daddy's skin. So she's got skin for blonde hair and green eyes. So she looks just like her dad except for she got Aaron's eyes. No, no, no. She got her dad's eyes. Never mind. Aaron has brown. She looks exactly like her dad. She got the same skin, hair, and eyes as her dad. She got nothing from Aaron. <laughs> it might, there, there's obviously something going on. I don't know what's happening, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll just put the little empty-headed baby in a crib. <laughs> so luckily she has 1,300 simoleons, so we're going to make a... a um, nursery up here i'm worried about the snow over here so i'm gonna make the nursery in this room <laughs> this is ivory wheeler she doesn't have a head <laughs> let's go ahead and get the baby stuff we need so we're gonna get the inexpensive baby stuff of course and since it's a little girl we'll make it pink because we don't know what her favorite color is yet and actually i'm gonna put this over on this side i think so there's more room and then let's get, I guess that's all we really need is a crib at this point, at this point in time. We could get a dangler, dangle master. We're going to put a dangle master downstairs somewhere. Um, so if we want to have the baby downstairs, we can put her down here. And that's good. We'll just wait and buy the other stuff once she ages to a toddler. Okay, so let's cuddle Ivory. I'm going to make Royce selectable so that he can meet his child I just want to look at his wants, too. Okay, he just wants to be BFF. They want to be BFFs with each other. Oh, look, they're so happy. And then she also has to pay Dr. Hickey, which she has no computer, so I think we're going to have to buy her a computer so she can make her payments. She's going to have to have a computer at home. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. She was premature and her hair, her, <laughs> her head wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I saw this. I don't know what's going on with the snow, Marta. I don't know. It's only happening on one side. Okay, so let's have uh, Royce go over and hold Ivory. I just want him to meet his daughter. I'm so happy we finally got a little girl. There we go. Aww. Okay, what are you doing, Erin? She's looking at the snow. Uh, why don't you cuddle her, feed her a bottle, and then you can put her in the crib, and then you can go home. <laughs> That's all we need from you. Oh, he can't put her in the crib. That's right. Just put her, put her on the ground after you feed her a bottle. And then you, all of her needs are great. So she owes Dr. Hickey, let's see. She owes him 500 because it was just a home birth. There was no twins. There was no high risk. Um, so yeah, she's just going to owe him five hundred. So we're gonna. I'm gonna add that on the spreadsheet as his next payment. Jeez. And then we have to get her a computer so she can actually make that payment. If she gets a computer, she's not gonna be able to afford to make the payment. So I don't know what to do. You know what? I think she's going to have to go down to the post office and use... She's gonna. We're going to have to leave Royce here. And we're going to have to send her down to the post office. He's going to have to watch the baby. Or something. We're going to have to do something. Yeah, the babies do not look the same in uh, The Sims 2, no. Are they fighting? Oh my god, is he mad at her because she didn't get with him? <laughs> Okay, it's time for you to go home. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for your help with the birth. I will be sending you your payment shortly. Get out of here. He's such a jerk. The only person he's ever nice to is Anna. Oh my God, no. What are you doing? Oh my God. What are they doing? Well, they just fell in love. The baby's on the floor. Please don't try for baby again. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. Let's see what they're gonna do, I guess. This is the same thing that Anna and Brian did in the last stream. 
Oh god, they're just cuddling right now. I know the poor baby, he's got no head. She's sleeping on the ground. <laughs> I know, you're supposed to... Okay, you're supposed to wait six to eight weeks. They didn't even wait one day. <laughs> Kiss romantically. There it is. They're trying for baby. They're freaking trying for baby. I don't know what to say. <laughs> the multiplier is on four. It is on four, but it's been four days. Yeah, it's definitely on four. See? But it's been four days. And let me see, what are your, what are her stats? Let's see here. So her pregnancy allowed, yes, try for baby 70%, ideal kids. There's no amount of ideal kids, oh my God. Oh geez, Erin. I don't know what to say. I've got to get her to pay her bill somehow though. Um, what can we do? I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna cheat her the money for a computer and then I'm gonna sell it and take it away. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> because I don't wanna send her out when she just had a baby. So I'm gonna do a ka-ching. I'm gonna buy her a computer real quick and then I'm gonna take the money back. We'll just pretend that she's borrowing it. She's borrowing it from Royce. Okay, well I was hoping I could put that on the table. Can I not put it on the table? Yes. Okay, come over here and I, cause I wanna do this because if I don't, I'll forget. So let's bank online. We're gonna transmit money to bank, to household funds of a playable sim, 500. Go ahead, pay your doctor bill and then we can get on with it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yep, these are Irish twins, all right. She and Anna both are having Irish twins. <laughs> I can't believe this. I like to have unmarried try for baby on because I don't want my sims to have to wait until they're married because, you know, some people don't get married and they have kids. But it's getting a little crazy. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy. They're going to be trying for baby every four days, which is technically four years. But their pregnancies last for three years, so I don't know. What is happening? Why is it taking... Is she stuck? Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. I feel like she got stuck. Uh, let's see. Bank online. Trans transmit money. Two, two household funds of a playable sim. 500. But I mean, I guess we do need the, we need the babies right now. We need the population. That's true. They can still have risky babies. That's true. That's true. Hmm. Maybe I should turn it off. And then just let them do risky. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn it off. Where's Dr. Hickey? Am I just not seeing him? Oh, there he is. Okay, she paid her bill. We're gonna save this and we're gonna put, she should have 542 simoleons after we sell that. I hope she didn't get pregnant, but if she did, she did. And I like what you guys are saying. I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn it off. Um, Let's see, where is that under? Global overrides? Nope, global switches. Autonomous, unmarried try for baby is disabled. We're just gonna let them have a risky. You guys are right, because I didn't even think about that. We're just gonna let them have risky and then we're gonna leave it like that. I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off because this is just, it's getting too much. Getting to be too much. I hope that she didn't get pregnant. And in fact, you know what? Let's just find out. Let's just find out because <laughs> I don't, I can't, I don't know. I, I want to, I, I don't want her to be pregnant. She is, she is. So I'm thinking about terminating the pregnancy and just pretending that didn't happen. 
Because I should have... I should have had that turned off. So it's kind of like my fault. And I don't think that's normal behavior that they would have done. And I feel like all my Sims having just babies back to back is just not realistic or healthy. <laughs> I think I, Anna and Brian, I'm going to let them keep it. I think I'm going to let them keep it, but I feel like I should have turned it off. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. Yeah. If I terminated the pregnancy, I it wouldn't be like she's having an abortion. It would be like it never happens. Like we're just erasing that that ever happened. Not that not story-wise it wouldn't be that she's getting an abortion. It would be that she never got pregnant in the first place. So, that's what I'm thinking about doing just pretending it never happens. <laughs> So I don't know. I got to think about it if I want to do that or not. If I just want to deal with the consequences of my actions and have two Sims have two babies back to back. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, that's true. I could terminate it and then have them do a risky. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so for anybody watching this, I know people get real upset about abortion and stuff, okay? But she's not having an abortion. We're just erasing that that ever happened because that was my mistake. Okay, so we're I'm going to technically terminate it and then I'm going to have them do a risky woohoo like they should have done in the first place. And if she gets pregnant from that, fine. Um, okay, so let's... Where am I going? Where am I going? Pregnancy... Okay, so that just never happened, and now they're going to do a risky. So I will have them do that. Casual woohoo on the, let's go to, let's go to the bed for God's sake. Let's go to the bed. Let's get off the sofa. And then if she gets pregnant from the risky, because they would have done a risky woohoo on their own. That's what that should have been. So we're basically just decreasing the chances. But if she gets pregnant from this, that's fine. I'll let her keep it because that's what they would have done. Um, but if she doesn't, then she doesn't. At least we have a chance. At least we have a chance. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, let's while they're doing that, let's gaze in wonder at our headless baby. <laughs> She's just chilling on the floor. <laughs> Um, there's really no way I can fix it right now. It's just gonna have to stay like that until I l reload it. <laughs> just pretend she has blonde hair, okay? <laughs> just pretend she has blonde hair. Yeah, we've gone, we've gone a day over our round. Okay, are they done? Okay, they're done. Oh no, the baby needs us. The baby needs us. Okay, I think Royce is going to take care of the baby. I don't know. He's going to eat. Don't. Just take care of your baby and let her sleep. So now it's going to be a surprise whether or not she's pregnant. It's going to be a surprise for us. Um, change the baby's diaper. I know, Summer. I know. People are. <laughs> People are a lot. <laughs> like, it's a game. <laughs> These are Sims. <laughs> Okay, so let's feed the baby. Oh, we gotta go over here. Let's feed a bottle to her and then let's have Royce. I'm just gonna have Royce take care of her and then I'm gonna send him home. He can't put her in the crib though. Go put her up here. And let's check on uh, Aaron. Aaron's not doing so hot. I don't know if she got prego or not. I hope she didn't. I hope she didn't. Okay, so I'm going to wake her up, have her put the baby in the crib, because I just can't stand the poor baby sleeping on the floor. And then, um, Royce, you go, you can go home. I'm going to make you unselectable. Make unselectable. Okay, so, won't bat box fix what? The hair? 
I don't know if Batbox will fix the hair for the baby. I don't know. We could try it. Let's see. I don't think I have a bat box on this on this lot. I don't know if it'll fix it or not. But let's try. We could try and see. We can try and see. Let's fix. No, what's it under? Um, I can't remember what it's under. Not info. I thought it was under fix. But I don't see it here, so I don't think it's going to work. I think it only shows up if it's going to work. Yeah, so I don't think it is. I think I, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with my baby hair. I really honestly don't know. I've never had this happen before. It usually works every time, so I don't know. I know the snow's driving me crazy too, but I don't know how to fix it. Okay, so we're going to save now. Um, Let's see. I just want to keep playing her because I want to see what's I want to see if she's pregnant, but I don't know. Where it's it'll be it'll be a surprise for next time. <laughs> for Anna, I'm just gonna let her continue. We'll just say that she got pregnant from Risky. It's fine. But yeah, I I think having the unmarried triper baby off is the best idea. Cause if not, your unmarried sins are gonna be trying for baby every four days. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. Don't do that. Unless you want your Sims to try for baby every four days. Yeah, Brian is very fertile. <laughs> okay, so I'm going out to the neighborhood now. How much time we have left? Oh, we have like 20 minutes left. Um, but we're way done with this household. So let's go out. Let's see, who are we going to play next? We did. We got a baby. We got a baby. Another baby to add. I need to add her to the spreadsheet so I don't forget so I made her last name Wheeler I feel like Aaron and Royce are probably going to get married I don't know though I don't know with both of them being like popularity and her being a fortune sim I don't know they might not um okay I don't know let's see who am I gonna play next who's next on the list I think it's Mel- no. It's- it, oh my god, it's Athena! It's Athena! <laughs> We're gonna play the mayor next, y'all. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to play her. I can't wait to see if she gives us a, a love child that we can put in the orphanage. Because that's what we need. We need a child available for adoption. It's Athena, and then after her is Melanie. Um, so Athena is next. We haven't played Diana yet, but we will play her actually after Athena if Athena has a baby for us to put in the orphanage. Um, so I wanted to pick out a house for her. I have all of the all of Honeywell's houses. Let's see. I wanted to give her like the biggest, fanciest house available. So let's see, which one is the most expensive? This one's I think I really like this one for her. This one's 59000 I want to look at all the prices. Forty. So so far, fifty nine thousand is the most expensive, and then of course we're gonna have to um, furnish it. Okay, fifty seven thousand. I think that one on the end. I think that fifty nine thousand is the most expensive house, and she definitely gets the biggest, most expensive house in town. Let me just scroll let me just scroll that one's 57 okay it's this one it's this one the green tea mansion three to six bedrooms and four baths okay let's see she has the biggest house but no family exactly well she it's possible i mean it's possible she could get married in the future i think i'm gonna put her house oh i can't put it right there why can't i put it right there I wanted to put her, I guess we could put her over here. Let's put her with a nice view of the sea. How about that? We're gonna put her right here. And I'm just gonna leave it named that for the moment. Let's go have a look at her house. That's the house of the Viejo family in your fairy hills. Aw, <laughs> I love this house too. 
It's a really nice one. It's perfect for Athena. She's gonna have all this space, all this money. Beachfront property, that's right. Okay, here we go. It's very pretty, man. I like this house a lot. This is a nice house. This is perfect. Let's go look at the inside. Um, okay, so we've got upstairs, we've got uh, three bedrooms that look, or four bedrooms. Or that could be an office. I think that'll be an office. We got three bedrooms, possibly four if we need it. Downstairs, we have a kitchen, bar, dining room, living room. Uh oh. What's going on with that? Something's going on there. I don't know what that, what the deal with that is. I'm gonna have to move this. Yep, that was it. Um, we've got our entryway. When you come in, you can go upstairs or over here. This is another room. I don't know. We could probably use this as like her work room. Um, there's a little bathroom down here. Is that it? Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two bathrooms upstairs. We got three bathrooms. I thought I said four bathrooms. We got three. Oh, there might be one in the garage. Yeah, there's a little bathroom in the garage. <laughs> so there's the garage. We can give her a car. She's going to get the most expensive car, too. Let's see. What do we have? I know. this. I love this. This is such a good house. Such a nice house. Okay, hold on. Let's give her a car. We're going to give her a really fancy schmancy car. She's going to be loaded. I think we should give her the 25,000 simoleon car. It's the most expensive one in the game. I definitely feel like the mayor would be driving this thing around. Not white, too. We're going to give her this one. <laughs> this is a, a 2017 Bentley. Yeah, that's her car. She's she's cruising around in style. And then, I mean, I guess we can start. I've got to furnish this whole house. I'm like, oh, I don't feel like furnishing anymore. Sometime before our next stream, I will work on this house. And I think I'm actually going to leave the city hall that we had before uh, from that plastic box created. But I might do a little bit more remodeling to make it look a little less urban. But I think I'm going to keep that city hall. And that's where Athena is going to work. So yeah, and this is gonna be her house. Yeah, she it's so crazy that she's gonna have this huge house and she's gonna have no, like you said, like you guys said, no family to share it with. I'm gonna save. And then I don't know if I wanna go ahead and move. I guess we could go ahead and move her in. I wanna look at her view too. Yeah, she's a flashy person for sure. So that she has this beautiful view of the ocean, which I still need to fix. But anyway, this is like where the most expensive realty is going to be. I also need to delete the old post office. And what what is that? Oh, that's... We need to move this. Gabriel should not be living right next door to the mayor. <laughs> so let's go do some rearranging. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marta. I always want to see how other people... Burn. I love to see other people's uh, versions. Okay, so I'm going to delete the old post office. And I'm going to move... This is... Whenever I changed the map to this new channel wood map for my old map, I just sort of th put the buildings anywhere because I, I knew that I was going to end up deleting them later. But he really needs to be down here in the poor side of town. <laughs> this is the poor part of town down here. Down here by, I'm going to have some fishing docks down here. And then this is the more, this is the like middle class area over here. And then this is going to be the well, the very wealthy Sims are going to live over here. And then up here is going to be, this is going to kind of be our commercial district up here. Um, so that's my plan anyway, right now. Right now. Um, so I wanted to do that. And then also I want to... Think of street names. So what do you guys think our first... This is our first street where all of our uh, Sims currently live. What do you guys think is a good street name for this street? And then I have to remember what side of the road. Even or odd. 
<laughs> what side of the road is even and what side of the road is on? Yeah, that's the that's the asylum part of the map, yeah. <laughs> Gabriel is the exterminator. He has only had one job so far, unfortunately. I am too, so I don't know what I want to name it. I think we could name the, since it's Edgewood, and I'm going to put a bunch of woods over here so we're actually at the edge of a wood. <laughs> I think I'm going to name them after trees. So this could be like Walnut Street, Pecan Street. I think I'm going to do that. Elm Street. Um, what are some others? Spruce Street. That's what I'm going to name the streets after, I think. So let me think, what should we name this one after? What kind of trees are these? Linden Street. We should name it Linden Street. Walnut Way. Ooh, I like that. Pine Place. Sycamore Lane is good. I like all those. Oak Street is good. Hmm. I think I'm going to... So this is kind of like a loop, isn't it? This is kind of like a loop. We should name this something loop. Linden Loop. That's what I'm going to name it. Linden Loop. Okay, I'm going to name it Linden Loop. And because this loops all the way around. And then I guess it stops right here and then this little street could be a different name. <laughs> I don't know. Linden Cir If we did Circle, we could do Sycamore Circle. I'm, I like, I want to, I want to use alliteration. <laughs> Blended loop or sycamore circle? What do you guys think? Or cypress circle? I like that better because it's both C's. C's. Oh yeah, the one in the middle could be circle. This could be cypress circle. Okay, I'm gonna do linden loop. So then I have to remember, oh my God, I can't remember the naming, hold on. Street number. Um, let me, I gotta look this up. Road name, I look, I always use uh, Honeywell's uh, website because she wrote, she put the road naming conventions on there. So, okay, on a north, south of the street, stand facing north. Okay, we're gonna say that this is north. North is, is pointing towards the mountain, okay? All houses on the right are odd numbers. Those on the left are even numbers. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Right are odd. So that means this will be, oh God. Let's say this is 101, 101, 102345,6. This will be 107. 107. The start of the circle is right here. That's the start of the circle and it ends right here. So we're going to call this 107. 107 Linden Loop. This is where Leslie work, uh, lives, not works. Leslie lives at 107 um, Linden Loop. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that, Marta. I'm gonna do a picture. I'm gonna do a picture. Um, but right now I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna name this, so this is gonna be 108. Linden Loop, this is where Nora lives. Okay, and then Catherine lives at 110. 110 Linden Loop. All right. Okay, and then so this will be 109, 111 ish. So we'll call these like 113, 115, and 117. So 113 Linden Loop is where Anna lives. And then 115 is where Aaron lives. Okay. And yeah, I do, I will, I will do a picture. I definitely need to do that. And then I can put each individual house number around and that's going to make things easier. But at least that gives us a place to start. 
Ooh, I like that. I like 113 A, B, and C. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Because they are kind of like townhouses. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so we'll do 113 A, Linden Loop. And we'll do 113... Oops, wrong one. 113 B. Yeah, that's a good idea. Linden Loop. And then we'll make this one... Can I not select that one? 113C Linden Loop. Perfect. Yeah, we have to get addresses or how is Aaron gonna deliver the mail? <laughs> but I'm only gonna do addresses right now on the ones that we uh, that we have replaced. I'm not gonna do the old ones. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have to save, I don't think. I'm gonna... I don't have to save. It just saves. <laughs> I'm trying to save. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me know, Marta, if you find anything. I don't know what's going on with that. I've never seen that happen before. It's weird. Yep, I'm gonna be... We got, like, five minutes left in the stream. So maybe we can name the streets um, up here. And bye, Miles. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. So the clothing store, pet store, let's rename these first of all, okay? I don't know what the name of the street is, but we can at least name the businesses. So this is uh, Nora's Boots and Pants. <laughs> Boots and Pants. Boots and Pants and Boots and Pants. Oh, we've, tw we've served 12 customers in total. <laughs> And then the bakery is, um, ooh, also 12 customers. Wow. So it looks like they can serve about 12 customers in a day with one person. Um, we're going to name this Leslie's Love Muffins. <laughs> All right. And then the pet shop. What are we, we going to name the pet shop? I don't know. I got to think about that. The supermarket, I'm going to name this um, probably just like Edgewood Grocery or something. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Edgewood Grocery. That's good enough for now. Oh, Paws and Claws. That's what I'm going to name it. Paws and Claws. Or Claws and Paws. Oh, I'll see if I can get the cat in here. Hey, Mr. Pleasant! If he's here or awake, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, let me see. Is Lazo awake? No? Well, that's the perfect time to bring him to me. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him in here. Oh, I like Edge Mart. I like Edge Mart. Paws and claws. Come here, you big boy. Look how big he is. Look at this. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. <laughs> he's sleepy, yeah, so he's being very cooperative. He's so big. He was so tiny, he could fit in my hand when we first got him. Oh, I'm sorry. You want down? Okay, he wants down. <laughs> yeah, but he has grown so much. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> he's so cute. He's getting a lot sweeter, too. He's going through his crazy phase, but he's he, like, comes on my desk every day and just wants to love, and he, he's getting a lot sweeter as he gets older. I know he was so teeny tiny. He was like, he was like, could fit in my hand, and now he's like, he's almost grown. Yeah, I hope so, Christina. I hope he does. I hope he does. Okay, guys. Well, it's twelve fifty nine. Was there anything else I was gonna name? Oh, the post. Oh, let me rename the post office. We rename the post office. This is the Llama Express. Llama Express. Okay, so I think that's... We got everything 
We got everything named. All right, making progress. <laughs> oh, Edge Mart. Yeah. Let me rename that one. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Okay, we got Leslie's Love Muffins, Edge Mart, Llama Express, Paws and Claws, and Nora's Boots and Pants. <laughs> Perfect. Erin Express. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up here. So thank you so much for joining me. This was really fun. I didn't expect to get another baby, but we did. I'm not going to turn my nose up at another baby. And then we also have the possibility that Erin might be pregnant again. And I'm going to leave that as a surprise for next round. We're going to find out. I have to write down. I have to remember that she tried for baby next time we play. Or not tried for baby, but had risky woohoo the next time we play. <laughs> and then so in our next uh, members only stream in two weeks we're gonna be playing mayor athena and that is gonna be fun because she's gonna have all kinds of problems she's gonna have all kinds of scandals and hopefully we get ourselves a love child <laughs> all right guys thank you so much again for joining me and if you're watching this back on youtube and you would like to join us for these members only streams you can click the little join button down below join at the live simmer level or become a uh, subscriber on twitch at level two or three to join us and have a great rest of your weekend, guys. I got, a, I got a video coming out later today, too. I got to go work on that now. So hopefully I can get that out for you guys today. Bye. <laughs>